He's like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. What oh boy. Um, <laughs> have y'all ever got so drunk that you write a note to future Isaac and then future Isaac says that past Isaac is an asshole? <laughs> I think I... Future Isaac? No. I mean, I want to write a letter to future Isaac now. <laughs> Just like this is a yeah. thing we do. I Dear got... Future Isaac. How's the jelly bellies? This whole episode should just be a time capsule for future Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whenever you hit 55, dog. Assuming that, like, YouTube's headquarters haven't been burned down in the great eugenics wars of 2048. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you uh, mean those actually... great eugenics wars of November 2020? Okay, you're I joking, mean, but, just... like... That, We're getting there. Um, I was I've been watching some Deep Space Nine with Emily, and there's this episode where they go back in time to 2024, um, and it's like, ah, uh, yes, the the United States was uh, practically a war zone where uh, so many people were out of jobs and they were huddled up in these uh these special districts in the cities, and there were all kinds of riots. Uh, it's like, Fuck. and they were like, why were the 2020s so bad? Uh, this. <laughs> And they said it was some orange Cheeto man. No, no, no. Uh, Cisco is just like, I don't know. But, like, personally living through 2020, and I'm just like, oh, no. Shit sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. It's so fucking funny. And it's just like, <laughs> they're going through. So, what? Oh, no, go ahead. You're good. They're just like, they're, they're stuck in, like, the before times and everything. And they're just going through the motions and everything. And you can see Cisco just like, aw shitting everything, and it, it hits like a little too close to time, a, a little too close to home all the time, because it's like, ah yes, uh, the distinction between the poor and the rich is greater than ever in human history, and the United States is at the forefront of this, mm. or democracy has been silenced in favor of classism, uh, and I'm just like, oh my god, it's too much. This isn't fantasy anymore. No, it's like a it's like. The, this looped around from being um to like uh huh. So serious question: When we all ine- when we all inevitably enlist, are you when the great technology war of the very near future? Are we siding with Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg? Oh shit! It's funny <laughs> that you think I'm going to sign up to fight Terminators for any reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you assume <laughs> that I'm going to be fighting at all. I'm going to be like the little French girl hiding in the basement who only knows how to speak French. And she's like, no, no, see you play. Like, as the soldiers are just, like, trumping through her house, like, taking all of her valuables and stuff like that. I recently watched 1917 or whatever that movie was, whatever year that movie was. And it's a very good movie, but, like, the, the French girl is, like, it's it's funny. I thought it was funny that you said you're a French girl who only knows how to speak French. And I was like, well... Yeah, you're French. Lots, lots of <laughs> lots of French people. Are, lots of French people. People are bilingual. They're like one of the most bilingual um, nations in the world. Probably not like 1917 or whatever the hell. Well, eh, who knows? Paris was. Uh... Well, I mean, in 1917, obviously in the movie, the French girl was only speaking English. She probably didn't know French. My father sent me. I mean, I'm like speaking of Star Trek, and we could do this before wow. we start the game. I'm sorry, but my father sent me. A picture of uh, Captain Picard hitting on Beverly Crusher in like one of the first episodes or whatever. That weird episode where everyone gets infected by the horny virus or whatever. You guys need to watch yep, Next yep, Gen. Yep. And it's the caption is, and I quote, "When your girl wants you to stretch her queef chapel for the first time, but she doesn't know your ham candle is so fat it has a girth certificate." Jesus. And I'm like, this is my 46, 40, 40. Uh, uh, 48 year old father sent me this and was like hey, hey dad <laughs> hey dad yeah those are those are words that i never even thought to put together <laughs> girth certificate's fucking great though that's that's some shit that's that's some, uh, i've been watching too much always sunny so i'm trying not to fucking relate it to everything dun, dun, dun. i mean it's really hard though once you get into it because there really isn't it's always ow, 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 fuck. For pretty much everything my cat has a bigger donut around her head, and she's finding it hard to move, so... Um, yeah, no, it's it's fucking wonderful, and I love everything about it, and I want to watch more of it, but it's I'm almost caught up, and it makes me very sad. Let's play some d and I'm so sorry. Uh, what the hell kind of session would this be if it didn't take, like, a good old ten-minute or more uh, off-topic yeah, no, we, session? We, we we're, used st- to... we're starting before... 
We're starting before 8, so I call it a win. I was going to say, it's 7.45. We're still early, dude. People, this is when people show up. <laughs> we used to not be this bad, I promise. Like, I, used to be we'd, like, all log in and we're like, alright, let's go. <laughs> now we're just, we do this shit every fucking time. Mm. It's all good. We live, anyway? Mm -hmm. We roll them? Damn. Oh, yeah, no, we, we've been catching the last... I made sure to get yeah, the GERD yeah, certificate no. stuff on stream. Yeah, no, Tyler <laughs> Tyler wants to make sure that if any of us run for political office that there's evidence of why we shouldn't. <laughs> Brandon, if you want to become prime minister, I will ruin you. No, 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 if you become prime minister, I'm fully expecting to be, like, an under-the-table, hey, come move to Canada, you and your wife, like, kind of thing, so me and Emily can just, like, march over the border and not deal with this shit anymore. I'm expecting, like, a specific wing of, like, the Prime Minister's palace. The Prime Minister totally has a palace, right? Um, just, like, a specific Hall. wing. It's... Well, I mean, yeah, isn't, isn't Justin Trudeau, like, Supreme Overlord? Like Supreme Overlord Trudeau. Work. You see, Trudeau... I mean, that's his formal title. So you know how every okay. Canadian gets a sword and a shield and a helmet at birth so that they can defend the princess of canada upon her uh, kidnapping if ever so should come to pass trudeau is the one who like hands no. out the swords and the shields yeah uh, no, no, no. No, he's no, like no, no. bring me over lord please bring me over lord trudeau is my father <laughs> and, and now the... <laughs> uh axes axes oh, yes. and shields you're, you're an axis utility shield. in addition to violence <laughs> You, well, yeah, you have to is, you have to chop you, through you the many yeah, many maple the swords out to everybody. You have to go and get through the many many maple trees to get to the necromancer's yeah. lair, and the, the axe is much more conducive than the sword. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard they were they were converting to chainsaws now though. Uh, yeah. no respect for the goddamn give classics. To everybody, how else are you? How else are you going to? Uh you know night people in the great like knights of the round well that's the round thing maple like table. when you get when you get knighted in canada if you like take the axe to the shoulder and cry then you're a little bitch and you don't get to be a knight <laughs> that's true and that's i i did i have heard that <laughs> trudeau apologizes to you afterwards anyway so it, it's like a little kiss oh sorry eh? well it's sorry, a bit, I, bit I, of a bleeder ain't you have to you have to apologize back for ruining the carpets. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen. The no, 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 no. They, they, they. T this is how they make the Canadian flags. They just take the blood from the knighting ceremonies and just use it to paint maple leaves. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. The oh, fuck. Last, last one to say sorry. Like, is is the is the winner? Is an official Canadian. It's, is the true yeah. Canadian? They're gonna yeah. only be one. Well, I mean, I that's, she... that's probably true. I mean, I've gotten in, like, standoffs holding doors open to people like, you go first, no, you go first, no, you go fucking first. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You ever get who's so... The you ever... In, who's the most Canadian in the room? You ever get so polite that you become rude to insinuate your politeness? <laughs> Christ almighty. Okay. Okay, so are, are we rolling initiative? I see an initiative tracker. And then, and then, and then oh, to make sure, that, when when they um, when they are trying to discover undercover Americans because we're not allowed in the ceremony, they just throw a single pork rind in the middle of the room. <laughs> Whoever picks it up is obviously, <laughs> obviously an undercover American. I, well, to be fair, I like pork rinds too. <laughs> It's okay. the, the, the real test is if they dip it in maple syrup beforehand. That's, that's the one trap. That's the one way out of it. <laughs> okay, quick recap. Uh, you guys were supposed to recover a mask of Ino, one of the two uh, masks created by Erebos. Uh, you were contracted by two different people to get it. Uh, Melandra offered you each 150 gold to bring it to her. And Alexo, who was, you know, an actual legitimate person within the study of Miletus, uh, offered you 100 gold each. Uh, anyway, you guys, after exploring the city, found your way to the actual original temple of Ephara. You got the mask, and upon returning to the surface, uh, shit's fucking crazy. There's there's ghosts flying through the sky, kind of uh, centralized around your location. Uh, and in the sort of square you're in outside the Hall of Justice. Yes, yes, Justice League, blah, 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 whatever. Um, good, good. Melandra is there, <laughs> holding uh, 
Alexo at Sword Point. There's also a member of the Reverend Guard over here that's presumably a bodyguard to Alexo, but uh, he may soon be out of a job. Yeah, so I had already made up my mind whenever this session had uh, finished. Uh, and it was very much, you know, line of duty, boys. Uh, so, you know, uh, let's uh, let her... If I... Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll set up... I'll add a little bit more to this, the uh, the scene here. Because you guys are... Uh, the Hall of Justice and the Agora and all that is in the center of the city. It's not quite the highest point. Like, the highest point would be more like the uh, the Street of the Gods where all the temples and shit are. Mm. But there's enough elevation here for you to see. Uh, outside the main city gates, uh, there's a lot of people out there. How about, let's have some perception checks. That, that That's fun. Rolling dice. Maybe I should open up a character sheet. It might help. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a... Should probably not just make straight. 12, which is unfortunate, but I'll take what I can get. I got a 13. I got a 9. Here, get we'll get guard all the first. out of the way. Okay, so... I mean, you can see what's out there. Not not too specifically, but... Uh, yeah, it's an army. Uh, there is an army assembled outside the gates of the city that are just kind of engaging in some light skirmishing with guards at the gate. Uh, the Reverend Army, of course, is forming up at the gates of the city to defend, but, uh... You know, there's a big-ass invasion force, and they're... They're not, like, actively assaulting the city. They're pretty much just holding position outside. Um... That's about all you get for those mediocre perception rolls, though. God damn it. Um... So, that's the stakes here. Uh, Melandra still has, uh... Alexo at sword point, ready to kill her in a moment. And she is saying, give me the mask. <clears throat> Alexo knows her duty. And you aren't getting out of this alive either way. Let her go. Melandra will give you a cold smile. You don't understand the situation you're in, do you? I'm not the one taking hostages. I don't need to take hostages. This is just doing things the easy way. You hand it over, no one gets hurt, I walk away. Gallus is kind of like nods towards Alexa. In... Uh, she, she doesn't look particularly upset or anything. Obviously she's not happy about having a sword at her neck, but she looks not resigned, but she definitely understands the situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As one must. Okay. Just because I'm a little con confused, the lady with the sword, is that the first or second lady? Lady with the sword is, uh, the, the hero pinger. This lady. Uh huh. Yeah, she's like, you know, holding her. Well, yeah, no, I, I'm just saying, like, is this the the actual council lady or the fake council lady? The actual council, council. Yeah, the actual council lady is the one who's being held hostage. Gotcha. She's the one who doesn't get a nice token. Gotcha. Fake, uh, real council lady does not have a nice token. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. So what do? Oh, we're not... Personally, not giving it. I don't know about the other two, but... Like, you're not getting this shit. Come at me, bro. Like, as far as I see it, Alexa knows what's up. Uh, she knows, like, you know... It's her duty to the city to, like, die if need be, so... Like, sorry it sucks, but... You know, you signed up for the office, dog. <laughs> did... Just a question, like, to make sure... Did we... Did we get a rest between this, or am I still low? And out of slots? Uh, you're still low. Yeah, we had just yeah. stepped out of the dungeon, like, cool, cool. almost immediately Just making before. sure that... Mostly making sure if I had... I almost hiccup slots back, but 
I don't really have spells to help you. You can so absolutely weigh that into your considerations of the things at hand here. Because she, unlike you guys, is not bloodied. Uh, she, again, uh, I'd compare her to Wonder Woman in physique and stature. Speak for yourself, fucko. I still have both of my regenerates up. <laughs> okay, so we acting here? Unless, uh, um, unless Mungark or Klonos has a objection, like... Let me look at something real quick. Mungark says, no, please don't hurt some random woman. Mungark's good to go, man. Yeah, like, I understand <laughs> that this is, like, probably a more, uh, difficult moral quandary for folks who are a little less, uh, morally gray, but I feel like for us, we know it's at stake, and we're like, eh, fuck you. That's cool. I'm just waiting for someone to do something. <laughs> yeah, no, I got nothing. I pitch a javelin. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I was gonna. I, I think I'm gonna pull out a javelin. And I'm gonna use this stupid ability that I have to try to throw the javelin at this lady. Can I let you both make an attack roll? That's fine. So, uh, I'm gonna. Can I use my reckless attack ability and make this an advantage? Sure, that's fine. Do it. Cool. Huh! I got 26. Skeet. 26 will hit. Oh, I deal sorry. 9 damage. Here, let me... Uh, where the hell did I put the thing? Dude, you gotta have yeah. a thing. Oh, so man. I'm using... Because I didn't put a javelin in here yet, because I don't hardly use them, I'm using my quarterstaff to roll, but it, I'm not going to do that for damage. Dassey's boot. Now, are you uh, are you trying to like do the classic, throw the javelin through the through the hostage to like make sure you get both of them kind of thing, or are you uh, just aiming for like her shoulder or some shit? Yeah, I was, it was I was like aiming off, like I wasn't trying to hit her. I was just so I was trying to get around her basically, like if she was hold, like the guy hitting the the shoulder on the gun or whatever. Uh, that's just an eight flat eighteen to hit. That will not hit. Okay. Uh, okay. So here's what happens. Um, as soon as the both of you go for your weapons, Callisto just presses the point of her sword forwards and into the spine of Alexo, and Alexo drops immediately dead. Well, there goes your fucking uh, leverage, dumbass. Does a 26 hit her, at least? The 26 does hit her. Uh, but... Whether it's the armor itself or something, it doesn't really seem to get as much penetration as you would have reasonably expected. Don't you hate it when that happens? Um... Okay. So I guess we're doing this. Um... Everyone can begin rolling initiative. Yay! As I'm going to change up our track here a little bit. I got a 14. Oh, it puts it in automatically. I forgot about that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I still need to watch the new season. I just finished it today. I heard it's a. I'm pretty sure. Not as good as three was. Oh, good. The Reverend Army guy rolled real fucking well for his initiative. He's dedicated to his job. Meanwhile, uh, um, <laughs> I'm not dead fucking last. Sure, not dead first either. Ooh, that. Ow. Uh. Now, let us begin the bow music. Really? She's that really? big of a deal? Really? Uh, okay, so her turn. Let's see what, what she going to do. Maybe we should have thought about this more. <laughs> well, like, goddamn, I thought she was Wonder Woman, not fucking Sephiroth. And as we all know, <laughs> Sephiroth could totally take Wonder Woman in a fight. 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, between the two of you... Hmm. Alright, we get it. It's a plot battle. Jesus, God, whatever. Take the fucking mask. Ooh, it's the Black oh, Mage's bad. version. 
Uh, let's go for Gallus first. He was pretty mouthy to her. That's fair. Boy, howdy. Is the music bot skippy for anyone else? That's oh, fine for me. Yeah, it must be fun for me. my end. I need a new internet adapter for this goddamn thing. <laughs> tell him, dog. Tell him. Does a 25 hit? 25? Yeah. yeah I mean, go fuck yourself, Brandon. Yeah, it hits. I'll be right back. So, Melandra strides forwards. Uh, so she has a short sword in her offhand, which is what she plowed through Alexa's neck. And she takes from her hip a battle axe. And that goes uh, sailing into Gallus's shoulder. Uh, um, okay, there's six slashing damage. It's not much. However, um, yeah, the, the actual slashing from the axe was kind of shallow, but there's an energy that seems to be surging out from the battle axe, and you take an additional 16 necrotic damage. 16, okay, ow. Luckily, I can roll a d12 with unscarred resilience. <laughs> oh, please. Are you going to? Oh, yeah, of course. 10 back. Yeet. There you have it. Okay, so she moved, did that. Uh, she's going to attack uh, Fishy Boy. Yes, Claudius, we're going to go for you. And she's going to swing with her short sword. It's not really great. Does an 18 hit? Does a what? Does an 18 hit? Uh, that, that meets. Tie to the cinder. Okay. And then she's actually going to lash at Gallus again with the battle axe. Bitch. What's that, Brandon? She makes three dexter? Yes, she does. Wow, same roll again. Does, she, does an 18 hit Gallus? Uh, no. Shield up, boy. Tink. Okay. Gallus, you're up. Uh, well, because the word retreat is not in Gallus' vocabulary, we're tridenting this fool 22 to hit you're confident that your strike is gonna land and then she pivots and deflects the blow off of one of her bracers Crikey. well I'm I literally cannot hit them I am gonna take a quick old second wind but yeah no this sucks Oh, oh wait, yeah, I, could, I guess I could with if it's any if it's that. Yeah, I don't know. I could tech maybe, but I have really? to roll nineteen or twenty to maybe. I'm back up to hit. twenty-five hit points, boy. You can always hit with a critical, then, but you know. And, and then when you're sure that you know that's going to be the end of the interaction, she presses forward with a sudden swiftness you did not. Quite oh, she's expect. got fucking legendary actions. Fucking yeah, right, hey. she does. 27 hit. <laughs> Crying means yes, Brandon. 12 slashing damage. Ow. Uh, 17 necrotic damage. Bro, watch the light. Watch the light, bro. Bro, stop. Yeah, I'm down. Who has the mask on them? I believe that's me. Okay. Is Josh back yet? I am. Hello. I'm thinking. Okay. Hello, Mario. It's me, a Mangakyo. Uh. Do I attack? Or do I just run away? Well, what Mungark do? That's what I'm thinking. Because I don't that's... think Mungark is going to stand around when he can't win a fight. That's my uh. That's my new tattoo. Uh, WWMD. <laughs> <laughs> it's also where you go to get terrible medical advice. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess we're gonna. 
Yeah, I think it's it's time to get out of here. I think Rungar got hit this lady with the spear and it didn't do anything. And then he <laughs> watched him watched her obliterate the other two people and then yeah, I haven't been hit yet. Yeah, by the way, I blew through both of my regenerates back to 25 so, health, and she still downed me. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to use... Can I use my first action to pick Gallus up over my shoulder? I would like to bleed on... As a free action, I would like to bleed on Mungark. Uh, noted. You bleed on Mungark. Bleh, bleh. I'm trying to figure out if I can... Uh, also, so don't worry about the, yes, so, the actual size of the map here for the purposes of you running away. Like, if you move to the corner and you say, I move also 10 more feet away, it's fine. Whatever. Cool, cool. Yeah. So, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna take Alice with me. Ow. Okay, uh, as you do I can't so, disengage, though, because... Yeah. Oh, you're out of range. That was fine. However... You notice uh, <laughs> a malicious little smile across. Uh, ma Fuck, what is her name again? Yeah, you've used. Fake name, so I keep getting tripped up. Melandra. She gets a coy smile on her face. Uh, what are the shadows being cast by the pillars? Because there's all these halls and shit around here. She steps into it real quick, and then she's gone. Oh boy, she took a level And then road. she's right fucking next to you. Oh my god. Photo! Uh, what up? Alright, I'm gonna run over, and I'm actually gonna take the mask from Dallas, and I'm gonna smash it. Oh shit! Uh, for fun, uh, roll strength. Straight strength? Um. Oh, I don't I mean, you could use athletics or something if you wanted, sure. Okay. Thirteen. It doesn't feel like... Okay, so you grab the mask from him, I assume you drop it on the ground, and then just crush it underfoot? I was... Well, actually, I guess I should have clarified. I was going to try to, like, try to squish it, like, pokey, pokey, crap, like, I destroy the ship. Okay, so when you... I mean, that, 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 wouldn't, change the, that wouldn't change the roll. It's still going to be at thirteen, even with yeah. my trident, but... You stab it... And it doesn't feel like you're stabbing like you would a person or an object. It feels like you're hitting something even more solid. It's, even if you, like, try to stab stone or the ground or something, it feels like there's even more resistance than that when you try to break it. Uh, okay. Would... I mean, I imagine just checking... Oh... oh. Just so I don't give off ideas, I'm gonna private message you something, Brandon. I promise it doesn't mean anything. Right. Also, I just moved uh, bodyguard lad here. He's he dashed. He's he's he helping you right now. He's trying. <laughs> how can I private? Oh, I can do it on Discord. That's what I was like. How can I? Because I was like, we're not. I haven't added you on Facebook yet, so I can't say that. But I'll just do it with Discord. Duh. Boy, howdy. Let us see. Because if if that if I can do that without it being another action, I do that. But it, I imagine it's probably another action considering it's on the ground. Um... Yeah, I would say it's an additional action to do that. Um, okay. So then that's all I got. Alright. Okay. So, uh, uh, actually, no. No, because that's an action, too. I was gonna say, well, are any of my healing things bonus actions? Nope, they're all... Oh, wait, actually, let me check that one. Oh, I don't have any spell slots, so I can't do that. But, and all my innate healings are action, so... Sorry, Gallus, you fucked. So as you attempt that... Uh... What 
Oh, yeah. She can't do that. So what she will do is take a swipe at Mungark with her battle axe. Oh, this is bad. Mm. It's not great. Although she did roll that one, so that actually missed. Oh, it still good. hits because it's still a 23. No. <laughs> she's fucking super duper powerful, but she's not that. That'd be stupid. Uh, however, now it's her turn. Now she's gonna do stupid shit anyway. <laughs> Yay. Can I, um, free action assume the fetal position? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> wow, I rolled. Oh my god, I have the worst roll. She rolled another in that one. Good. Keep doing it. I cannot take a single hit, so we're, we're helping the... This is fucking broken. Uh, yeah. The three nat roll. No! My rolls. Three nat rolls and a one. That's gotta be a record. Well, you know, good that you're using it as a DM instead of a player. What's their AC, Mungark? 17. Okay, that one will hit. Uh-oh! Yeah, yeah. Ow. Oh. Now who's rolling death saves? Everybody but me. So there's 10 slashing damage. Mm-hmm. And then there's... Get out of the way, Discord. And then there's 11 Necrotic. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Gallus, uh, Death Save. Yeah. <laughs> We're now in a big pile on the ground. Oh, yeah. Like... Oops. <laughs> That's not good. No, it's not good. Gal uh, Mungark, Death Save. Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> oh no! I I will lay on hands for two points on Gallus. Yay! Okay, Gallus. Sputter to life. Uh, okay. Uh, well, now that I'm back up to two. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, it's not my turn. I use my turn to do a death save. Bleed out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, it's, it's, Any, it's... Anything else, Klonos? Oh, if you wanted to, if you wanted to do the thing, you can go ahead and try that now. Okay, I put the mask on. Okay. Uh... And next week, I will be bringing in Bronos, uh, <laughs> the brother. <laughs> okay, let me see. He's like the... Klonos, except he wears a flat bill. <laughs> I... I country, believe... Country Klonos... <laughs> Make a charisma save, please. Hey, I can. I'm good at those. Mm, mediocre at those, even with a plus five. Uh, are you? I was gonna say, are you a paladin? Yep. Yeah. So you feel just this horrible, nasty energy coming off of this thing, and it feels like it's messing with your mind a bit, but you're able to fight through it and. Putting it over your face, unfortunately. Um, Down to you. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, any magical effects you might be able to glean from this thing, you would first have to attune to it. Good. Uh, hey, um, hey, lady, can we have 30 minutes? Nope, she's not giving you that. Um, little boy going to try to kill her. Little boy going to miss. In my head, the guardsman is like a 14-year-old now. Just about. Uh, and when he tries that... Oh, let's do this. This one's a fun one. Um, no. Okay, so... Mongark is going to take another fail uh, death save as she does this. Oh, she can do that. Neat. Uh, I mean, it's... Uh, everyone who's conscious, please give me a dexterity save. <laughs> oh, no. Things 11. I don't like. 20, nat 20, baby. Yeah, I don't think this going to be enough yet, though. Well, go uh, just, Like, alright, we get it. Power trip NPC. Just give us the plot defeat and let us go, man. Oh. I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there. God. The, uh, the plot defeat, he says. 7 damage to Klonos. And three damage to Gallus. Down again, boys. To little guard boy. 
as she strikes the fucking ground with her fist, and there is a shock wave. Uh, Melandra's turn. Uh, Good. this is. I mean, she's just gonna basically gut the guard here. It's, yeah, he's. She cuts his fucking head off. Ooh. You hate to see it. And she takes a step. And. 25 hits. Yep. And. Uh, nine slashing damage. And 15 necrotic. And down. Okay. And then, as you're all lying on the ground, bleeding profusely from several wounds, she bends down and picks up the eye nail mask. And as your visions are fading, everything's going black, you see her smile, another coy smile, as she says, I told you you weren't that special. Hate this lady. I'm a special boy. My mom told me so. And... Yeah, I have a participation ribbon for this fight, just so you know. <laughs> and the last thing you see is her bringing her axe down upon you, each of you, as she finishes you off. All right. All right. Fun. Avernus next week, boys. Good job. Yep. Level two. It's... And then, uh, you will, after time passes and your souls are floating around as they do, um, you're able to open your eyes. Is this like one of those Scooby Doo movie things? Am I Moon Dark now? <laughs> Uh, well, okay, I do open my eyes. I'll take a take a free action to open my eyes. You yeah, do so. Actually, my eyes are still closed because you, you can't play my character. <laughs> Good, you tell him. <laughs> you don't make decisions for Every me. time Josh does something like, you know, yeah, you do that, I'm like, no the fuck I don't, let me say it, stop! <laughs> uh, fucking nerd. I'm holding out, too. I'm not opening my eyes. Ever. <laughs> no, I... I... Alright, well... <laughs> and that was the last we ever saw of Clonus. No, I, I... Someday he's still just sitting there with his eyes closed in the cave to this day. <laughs> I'm changing your name to Eyes Closed No. <laughs> okay, so whenever you guys regain consciousness, you are in a big old wide open room. Marble ceiling. Lots of marble everywhere, as it is, because you're still in Miletus. Um, there's the occasional wafting scent of incense. Uh, you're on like a kind of stone bed, I guess. Uh, not quite an altar, not quite a fucking morgue slab, but somewhere in between. Um, there are three figures in the room. One of them you recognize as Leander. He was the high priest of the Farah. Uh, he's just kind of standing in the corner watching you guys regain consciousness here. Uh, another figure, just given he bears a symbol of the Council of Twelve, he doesn't have a blue stole like Alexo did. Like a, He doesn't have the thing of rank that that shows him as a member of the Council of Twelve, but he's clearly like a, an agent of theirs or some such. Uh, he's standing also just watching but the third person who uh i'm not even gonna make you guys roll history or something because you would recognize you would fucking well recognize uh it's a leonin woman she's wearing uh plate armor she's brandishing a golden spear and she smiles as you wake up hello my friend Back among the living. Uh. It's motherfucking Eftalia. She is the current uh, champion of Heliod. Oh. She's basically super local celebrity. 
What happened? Where's the mask? What happened to Miletus? The city is safe for now. You fought with a dark-haired woman, yes? Uh, and she'll ask you physical description, which matches up with Malandra. This is the person you fought, yes? Yeah, more or less. I wouldn't say fight, that's a bit generous. She nods solemnly. I'm afraid Callista has made her move. And let's get history rolls on that one, at least. Yay! Ma'am, that armor provides no protection whatsoever. Oh, I rolled a zero! Mungar! Mungar! Brain aneurysm. Uh, normal roll. I rolled a six. I didn't attend school that day. Uh, as she sees uh, the lack of recognition in your eyes, and as she sees Mungar bleeding from the ears. <laughs> Can see uh, one guard, one guard sitting there with his like, uh, like staring into space, and one eye is like drifting to the yeah. side, like his tongue is hanging out the like, side of his head. I remember a couple of weeks ago when we picked on nerds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Talia will explain, Callisto was the lieutenant of the usurper god. Is it... oh, Jesus Christ. You can do it, bud. Xenagos. 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 Okay. I, I, of the four of us, Josh, that's final fucking ruling on how it's pronounced. It's definitely right? Xenagos. Xenagos. There you go. Okay. Xenagos. She was his lieutenant. That's not surprising that three of you, mighty as you are, fell in battle against her. She was once the champion of a god. Hmm. We lost to Seder Boy's favorite bitch. And it hurt. Uh, well... Uh, so she took a very important item and made off with it, which is just perfect. So what do we do now? As you can see, your wounds have been treated. You are no longer, well, you are no longer among the dead. Uh, it's not only the rest of you, you, I mean, you guys can go up to full hit points. That's, that's fine, that's fine. Yay. Yay. Just, and for the sake of my fucking convenience, you can just recover spell slots and whatever, too. That's fine. Oh, yeah, all my fine. spell Yay. slots. Hey, dude, I can get my rages back, okay? Okay, fair, yeah. fair. So that's all fine, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, what... no, uh, oh, shit, I forgot about that. That would have been <laughs> even worse. Had I, forget. I forgot that I had a level of exhaustion. Oops. That'll be gone, too. Why not? I should have di died a while before I died. Dying <laughs> made you feel better. It did, or at least the healing you received afterwards did. All right. If... So, if Talia will look uh, sidelong at the door, if she hesitates to admit this, but Callisto was also once my lover. Hot? No, sorry, that's bad. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Mungark is like, oh, you have chosen a strong mate. I assume that, that was, there was a. That was what I thought. I assume there was a falling out at some point. Oh, yes. Callisto is a woman of impassable ambition, but she has no conscience. War Lady Callisto has an army of followers, and she is bent on ascending to immortality as Xenagos. Xenagos? Xenagos. Mm -hmm. Xenagos did before her. Um, it's actually three long vowels. Uh, Z. Xenagos. <laughs> Zenegoose. Hey guys, Zinegos. I went down to the, I went down to the, uh, park today, and I is Zenegoose. <laughs> <laughs> Episode title: I Zenegoose. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! 
<laughs> that deserves some grade A meme inspiration. Oh, why is Marcos playing constantly? There's more. <sighs> why? Is it because it was uh, looping? Uh, music is hard. Tell me about it. Hmm. Honestly, like with. <laughs> I say this to you fucking guys more people. <laughs> yeah, when it com when it comes to my end of the capture, like it's just it's streaming so poorly for some reason that I just I'm just playing shit on my end now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's respectful, no calm down. I take no responsibility for this, by the way. Um Okay. Uh she will actually Yeah, let's just move this along. She's gonna wave a hand over to to um, what's his face, Leander, who's gonna bring over something on a silk cushion. Uh, <laughs> now with the with the context the game gives me, it's so fucking silly. But basically, what's on the pillow is uh, a nose. <laughs> no, what it is, and I'm just gonna say you recognize it because it's so fucking stupid. Otherwise. It's a fragment of the Mask of El Peace. Huh. Gotcha. And what it is essentially is just the, the top of a mask, like the top of a head, and a nose. Yeah. But it is an ancient-ass artifact, and it is powerful. And you can plainly see, even from a couple feet away, that it is, like, glowing with white veins of mana. Despite being a fragment of a mask, it's still very powerful. And, uh, Leander will offer it to the group. Uh, what's this do? That brings up a curious what? question. It wasn't, because I remember whenever we started Ravnica, we had to specify our mana colors, but I don't think we ever did that with that, with this. Um, I mean, you don't have to. I know, but I'm just like. For thematics, are any of us white mana? Because, like, I forget if, uh... I forget what, uh, merfolk usually are in Theros. Like, they, aren't they usually blue, Josh? Yeah. Yeah. Baba Diva. <laughs> and then me and you were both, obviously, red, like, all the way. Uh... Well... Probably red-black. Um... Well, yeah, Mungar's definitely red-black, but... Eh, I'll take the mask. I'll take the bit of the mask. Okay. Uh, nothing happens immediately. You don't need to make a fucking charisma save or anything right. like with the eye mail mask. It's just a piece of a mask right now. Mm -hmm. Um. So. See, it's so stupid. One of, uh, I'll tell you later, but one of the elements here that's like, if this happens, then this. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Um. It might just be tiny little lore blurb. Yeah. The that agent looking dude with the uh, the symbol of the twelve will step forward and introduce himself as Dracon. Uh, he'll explain that the Council of the Twelve, you know, being privy to the prophecy that someone, a she, was going to lay claim to this mask. Um, they. And given that you guys have faced her down, they believe that you are the ones who are destined to stop her. Um, and even this defeat must be part of this part of the prophecy. Uh, stopping Callisto from using the power of the Ino Mask must be your sacred duty. And her power, now that she has the Ino Mask, can only be countered by reuniting the pieces of the Ed Peace Mask. I realize this is a significant quest we lay before you, but if, if and when you are successful, we are prepared to offer you significant rewards. <clears throat> so I'll just read this out verbatim. When they are successful, the city will reward them with a wealthy lifestyle paid for by the city of Miletus for life, uh, an estate in the center of the city, which in this case would actually be Alexo's estate because she's, she's dead. She didn't have any heirs. Yeah. So. Um, you will have the right to nominate your, themselves for seats on the Council 12 uh, without the 10 plus years of public service that's usually required. 
uh, though your appointment would still be decided by public vote. And a festival of your honor. Also, he's going to pay you each uh, 150 gold right now, because, I mean... Yay! Even though Callisto got the mask, you guys did your job as best you could, put it, all right? We did technically get the mask. Now we immediately lost it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I require no such rewards, truly. But I cannot leave a defeat unanswered. That is all that matters to me. Uh, Dracon will nod and smile at this. Uh, Leander was looking kind of anxious over in the corner, but at the, you know, as you confirm that yes, you'll do this, he perks up immediately. Uh, let us see. Uh, we could take a break here while you guys level up to level three. Yay! Battle yeah. master, battle master. Like, I know that's, like, the number one just absolute most taken fighter subclass, but I've just wanted to do it for so long. I honestly don't think it's the most taken one. Um, I think Eldritch Knight probably... You're, you're so right, now that I think now that I think about it. So I'm going to describe the effects of the white fragment of the Mask of El Peace as well. Right. Because, okay. So... Uh, each El Peace mask has five stages growing in power as the wearer does. Short of persuading a crafting aid who to repair the mask, there's no way to put the five pieces together again. And a Rebus would likely want to work if anyone did. Um, so, at character level one to three, masks at stage one. The white fragment uh, requires attunement. Uh, it is a fragment of a full face mask made of marble with colored veins of mana. It feels warm to the touch as if it's been lying in the sun. Stage one. When you wear the mask, you gain dark vision up to 60 feet. When you speak the command phrase, My light in the darkness, you cause the mask to glow with a cool pale light and emanate the daylight spell. Hmm. Once per day, you may choose to have the daylight generated by the mask reveal invisible creatures and objects. This effect lasts for one minute. I like that one. It's combat maneuver time, boys. I probably should have looked at this before I chose. Okay, this playlist is fucking broke, man. Clear. Okay, uh, silence. Oh, shit. God damn it. What's wrong? My... My hit... Hit die roll was shitty. Oof. Alright. Well, I gotta start looking at primal paths now. Maybe I should have thought about this before. I think now. we all kind of fucked up with not looking at our level threes. <laughs> I didn't even think about us probably getting level three. Um... Well, I'm definitely taking sweeping strike because we don't have any AOE in this group, even though it's gonna be hard to cluster up enemies for it. But it's fine. Um, I really like some of the UA stuff, but hmm. See here. Also, I'll point out the uh, the name she's officially officially listed as as like in her stat block in the uh, in the adventure is Callisto, comma Scourge of Theros. Yikes! That's the whole planet. <laughs> yeah, that's what we should have asked. Be like, hey, do you have a a comma followed by a title after your name? If so, we ain't fighting you yet. Oh, I forgot. They added the war colors with Theros, didn't they? The what colors? They added... I'm pretty sure there's a new primal path for... Uh, um, maybe? Theory. I think it's I think it's a paladin oath. It's the oath of heroism or whatever. Also, uh, there's five chapters of this adventure, and each of them is themed around one of the colors of mana. This one was white, because it's all about, you know, order and civilization and trying to protect it and stuff. Nice. Uh, the next one will become immediately fucking obvious. Josh, it's, um... Immediate. It's a new bard college and a new paladin oath. The Oath of Glory. Okay. So, no new barbarian thing for you. Let's find... 
That's probably my dad somewhere. Man, yeah, we really dropped the ball with the fucking. Oh, God. Man, it's also on me a little bit because it was just a little strange or stopping place because it was like. It was a, no, it was a great cliffhanger. Don't get me wrong, but like, yeah, definitely we should have been like, all right, we should probably pre prep level three. It's fine, but uh, let's see. Immediately after you hit, you can spend one spear to use a bonus action to grapple. Uh, interesting. See, I don't know if I can grapple people when I'm using a trident and a. Uh, and a shield, because, like, you need a free hand to do a grapple, but I wonder if you can, like, rule out that you can, like, grapple by pushing the haft of the trident against their neck or something like that from behind. Well, given that we already stipulate that you can use your free hand, like, with with, with your shield, because, I mean, it's strapped. Ah, uh, yeah. Then I, uh, yeah, that's, you can grapple, like, that. that's fine. Okay, because I'm just looking at some of the UA Battlemaster things, and there's some pretty cool ones. Um, that's only for ranged attacks... Shit, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna replace. It's mask, dude. I like how they're yeah they're um they're supposed to be like comedy uh comedy tragedy or whatever. How very Grecian. Yeah, so I took let's see for my combat maneuvers I went and took restraining strike. Which immediately after I hit a creature with, um... Immediately after I hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, I can expend a superiority die and uh, make a athletic uh, athletics check to grapple the target. Uh, goading Strike, basically, I taunt them whenever I hit them, and if uh, they lose a wisdom save, they have to attack me or suffer disadvantage on other attacks. And Commander Strike, which whenever I do the attack action, I can forego one of my attacks and use a bonus action to direct one of my companions to strike. Um, when I do so, choose a friendly creature who can see or hear and expend one superiority die. Cool. Uh, and I also need to... Let's see. Actually look at superiority die stuff too, but that's fine. The maneuvers is the really fun part. student of war I gain proficiency with one type of artisan's tools of my choice which I think I already have one of those so, or not artisan's tool a dice set I have dice set that's what it is what's max level for this campaign do we say 14 uh see by default it's 1 to 11 but I mean just given the party of 3 and blah 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 I would say max is our 12 okay cool um. Hmm. Wait, well, that's just an interesting one. Uh, well, he used to be he used to be a farmer, so something that could be done on farmland. Uh. Let's go with. Shit. I don't know. This is hard because it's like it's it's extensive. Uh, it's flavor, you know. KM, whenever Magnus got his little tools in Adventure Zone, was it was it wood carving or was it carpenter? I think it was carpenter, right? Because like that's what he. Yeah, yeah that's I what I'm going to take Storm Herald. Storm Herald's fun. Oh, we is it now, boys? Take some wood carver's tools. That's like a fun little thing to do in the meantime. I don't even... I get proficiency in it. I don't get a fucking... But it's fine. Neat. Uh, I'm creating a billion different handouts in the uh, journal, which, on the one hand, sorry. On the other hand, it's kind of necessary given all the shit I have here. That's fine. I'm creating yeah. another one here, which is just like the, the stage one stats for the white fragment. Mm -hmm. For whoever so the, tuning to it. The oath... The Crown Oath, like, Channel Divinities are pretty baller. Basically, like, a challenge, like a, a, like a compelled duel kind of thing. And then the other one, as a bonus action, anybody that can hear me within 30 feet regains 1d6 plus 3 uh, hit points. Oh yeah, no, Oath of the Crown is fucking cool. Cool, cool. 
Um, I like how we're all committing ourselves to being tanky, just so we can be tanky for each other at any given point in time. Hey man, you tank this time, and I'll tank next time. Yeah, I think your rhythm bot boy is sick or something because he keeps fucking repeating the same track over and over. I'm just yeah. No more. I mean, I got a. I mean, I got a bunch of heals because I got my lay on hands that I got cure wounds. I got that chain of divinity. Right on. I got the healer feet. Like so, I got many ways to like to heal you guys. Uh, I have four superiority dice. Haru, can you stop for a second, dude? We got her a new, uh... We got her a new donut because the other one was too small and she was getting too clever. Um... And... Uh, this one's made of, like, canvas or something, and it makes the worst sound when she licks it. Can I chew? Foul. This makes me get goosebumps every time she does it. Baby, you're okay. You can go five minutes without licking. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. She's gonna immediately start licking again. Okay. That's done. I'm good? Yeah, I'm good. I am also done. Okay. Uh, so... Dracon is going to explain that there's only the one uh, other fragment of the Elpis mask that the council has an inkling of where it is. It's said to be in Eryxmithis, uh, the drowned city on the back of a kraken. Fuck yes! <laughs> I'm so happy Love that them. Josh mentioned it like before we actually started uh, like session 0 0.2 or whatever. He was like, oh yeah, there's this crack in the sea on its back. And I was like, uh -huh, I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> blub blub, motherfucker. Hell yeah. yeah. Team. I wonder what color this part of it will be. <laughs> Red, clearly. Red man. Blurple. <laughs> uh, so, currently, uh, it's believed to be swimming in Thermocles Eddies. Thermocles? Thermoses. Would it be Thermocles? Thermocles sounds good. Thermocles. Thermocles, enemies. I think, would be the right way to say it, but whatever. Thermocles, it's fine. Whatever, let's go. So, yes. Uh, at the same time, um, Eftalia, being the champion of Helod, she's going to set on on her own to try to track down the other fragments of the LP's mask. Okay. But she's going to wish you luck and hopefully your paths will cross again. Dope. Okay, so. Um. Yeah, you guys need to basically head across the ocean to get to Eryxmethes. Um. Let's see. Uh, I imagine we can charter a boat or something. Yeah, of course. The city is on the water, so it does have a harbor. And we, we have a general idea of where the city is, I take it. Um, well, not exactly, no. It, well, yeah, we it's on the is... back of a crack, and I guess it is going around often. And it's believed to be swimming in Thermocles eddies. Uh, but, I mean, Dracon himself doesn't know exactly where that is. But if Do you I find yourself know? a ship and a navigator or something to that effect, they would know. Um, You what, could give what? me a... Would it be history, really? Um... History or nature? Fuck it, let's say nature. Give me a nature roll. I am equally bad at both. Nat 20, and motherfucker. Yet. On the fishy boy. 
Is uh, is Mungark gonna try? Mungark is not a water boy. He, I don't, I don't think that Mungark would know. Okay. So, since you guys don't have uh, experience in sailing watercraft or whatever, you you personally would not know exactly how to get there. But you have a general idea of whereabouts it is and what it is. So these eddies are apparently treacherous waters, uh, strong currents that are... There's something about them that's inherently magical. So, of course, that whole region is very dangerous. Uh, but again, it's a ways away from the coast and stuff, so you would need a boat regardless. Uh, and ideally, someone who knows how to sail it, because none of y'all have uh, proficiency. Hmm. Mungart no know much about water. Uh, still learning how to swim. Yes, and I'm not exactly much of a salesman either. Sailor, salesman, whatever. Uh, I mean, Death I've never had sailor. A, I've never had a need for a boat. Yeah, but as the only one of us that is, uh, how do you say? What, what's the word? I believe you'll have to take the lead on this one. All right. Uh, so, so at this juncture, you guys can kind of do whatever. However, I'd maybe not recommend just buying rowboats and trying to tackle us yourself. Uh, we'll go the kingdom. Well, we'll single, go the king. We want a single dinghy. We'll go the Kingdom Hearts route. We'll put together a raft and try to leave this island. What did those kids think was going to happen? Um. But you do have gold if you want to make any preparations. I mean, charter a boat. Yeah. Charter a boat with someone who isn't afraid to go and find a, a Kraken city. I'd like to go to town and see if I can find some healing potions. I am looking for some stuff to but give me a second. I still have you do your stuff first, Josh. one potion so spe left. Specifically for healing potions, uh, you could go either to the Street of the Gods, because I mean, there's temples and they do healing there, of course. Uh, hmm. Or you could go on down to the south side of town to the Dicatia, where all the nerds are at. Although... Yeah, remember. we have great history with them. I mean, we, we, you can either go with the intelligence nerds or the wisdom nerds. Either way, you're mingling with nerds. Although one might say that given the presence of philosophers and the like at the Dicatia, might not their intelligence also classify as wisdom and vice versa? Mungark's just gonna go to the one that he didn't piss off earlier. <laughs> There we go, that's the practical choice. Um, well, for starters, you guys are already at the Street of the Gods because you're in the Temple of uh, Heliod, which is the grandest of the temples there because it's fucking his city. Um, yeah. yeah, he's just going to walk up to a, store, uh, a stall and be like, Mungart need items for healing. Okay, so what are we looking for here? Standard potion of healing? Mm, anything I can get for this. And he's just going to drop the bag of coins that he was just given on the table. Uh, so the woman running the stall is going to kind of... Uh, I don't know, brace herself as <laughs> the gold hits her stall and she's... Oh, well, for that much, let's see. As Brandon flips around in here, that is... Healer's kit, no. Let's see, potion of healing, just a base one. 50 gold each for the one that uh, regains you 2d4 plus 2. Uh, if you want the bigger lads, then I can break out my other book here. I imagine this is her saying it. So she's like, ah, oh, yes, you're looking for the big lads. She says, Tyler, yes, the thing that you just sent me, my... I hate this artwork so much. <laughs> oh, keep, keep, keep scrolling. It's really good. The, the crystal onyx is really good. 
I was always mad that a uh, shiny onyx didn't look like that. Yeah, I hate this new art for fun. Mm. The comparison to the Tin Man was very apt. I would vote for him for president. Uh, so yeah, what we're looking for: potions of healing, potions of greater healing. Probably just normal potions of healing right now, right? Like yeah, I feel like we'll get to greater as we go forward. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, so just the standard potion of healing that gets you 2d4 plus 2 hit points, and those will be 50 gold each. All right, I'm going to buy two of them. Okay, 100 gold. Put me at 50. And thought, uh, hello, okay, I would like to... I am my own potion of healing, so I will go without. I, got, I hope I you are all are tracking uh, encumbrance as well, because these all weigh half a pound each. Just fucking kidding. Oh, I was about to, like, fucking God. die. Yeah, no, but... Carry away to so nope. stupid. If I... I am looking for a weaponsmith of sorts. You'll easily find one. I mean, most all of the right. smiths around here work in, like, making fishing tools and... There's lots of boatswains and stuff, but y you will find weaponsmiths, yeah. Alright, uh, any common weapons that I would not find? Or are we just going common weapons good? Run that by me again? Any common weapons that I would not find, or common weapons just... I'm looking for a morning star. Oh, you'll easily find one of those, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, I'm just looking for, yeah. I'm not looking for anything fancy, I just... Just something. I want some. Yeah. This is another weapon that I that I know from back home that I did not bring with me, mostly because level one creation does not allow you to take it. Yeah, they will absolutely have morning stars, uh, fifteen gold. Honestly, like, yep. if if I feel like if you would have like ran that by Brandy, he would have been like, oh yeah. Honestly, I was expecting me to give up the the trident before you did. I was figuring you were gonna be fish boy with the trident the whole time. Uh, so in care in character. Uh, I I have several things that I know. Out of character, having that really low strength mod for a paladin kind of sucks ass. Yeah, that's <laughs> totally fair. Yeah. Um, that's fair. Well, I already made Klonos in Soul Calibur, and he uses a trident, so there. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, he may bring it back once he gets his like once we hit that ASI and sure, my sure. strength mod isn't isn't ass. Um. Did we? Was the I remember getting a plus one mace in one of my sessions recently, but I can't remember if that was Avernus. That was Avernus. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I was like, wait a minute, what, what was that? Um, but okay, I'm not, cool. I'm not giving up the Chinese that easy. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, that but, seems um, a little too they early. They will absolutely come. I mean, this is arrows. Is there any any shop of oddities? Um, anything fancy not even like necessarily magical or anything just something because I'm still trying to discover the culture so is there anything like uniquely this city I... roll a d20 welcome to the old Zoblothities shop god uh, sorry Zoblob is my favorite you can't take him from me everything is purple <laughs> everything is purple <laughs> Zoblob my fucking boy and you will not you will respect him. Oh boy. Do you have anything that's not purple? Get out of my store! Get the fuck out of my store right now, you son of a bitch! Can I be purple? <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> the chosen one! I will never. Oh god, that was still one of my favorite absolute things I've ever done. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Klonos, uh, you're just kind of wandering around. You'll find plenty of merchant stalls uh, in the Agora that sell random-ass things. Um, here, let me let me roll some stuff. Okay, that one's fun. Uh, Sir, fun. what is this thingamabob? <laughs> I got it. Well, you like that. I've got who's it's and what's it's a plenty. <laughs> So some of the things you find, uh, there's caltrops at one table that they look kind of yellowy, 
and on further inspection, they're actually made from bone. I swallow one. <laughs> I straight up think this is candy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this tastes candy. awful. Oh, well, I rolled a lot of ones. That's surprising. Uh, take six piercing internal damage <laughs> as uh, a caltrop slowly makes its way down. Oh my god. And this I'm gonna tastes do... awful. I'm gonna roll this now rather than later. You'll take an additional seven dam. You can take it now. Seven damage uh, when it exits. <laughs> you just took poop damage. Yeah. Uh, incidentally, at the I look, same. I look. I look. I look at the vendor and say, "You should really reevaluate the uh, your wares. This tastes terrible." That wasn't. That's not edible. That was a caltrop made from whale bone. Then why would you make it look like candy? <laughs> uh, he's going to thrust his hand at you and demand payment to the tune of... Uh, <laughs> to the tuna of... Boo. Boo. single gold piece. Well, fine, but your, your Yelp review will be very poor. I give him he walks break. outside of the, the shop and goes... Oh, this shop stinks. <laughs> <laughs> there's similarly weird shit at this stall in particular. Uh, there's some shriveled up thing that you initially took to be like a pouch or something, but it's actually a petrified mouse. That's just kind of on a string. And there's also a bronze pentacle with an etching of a rat's head in its center. I want to look at that. Uh, it's shiny. It's a chain you can is wear. This, I, I look at I look at the man and be like, "What what kind of candy is this?" <laughs> uh, the stall owner is going to just give you the most dead-eyed look. Be like, she has a stroke. <laughs> Unless you're going to buy something. Just... Well, I'm asking, what kind of candy is this? I will. I have money. This is a bronze pentacle. You wear it. You don't eat it. None ah, of my cool. items you should eat. You can eat if you purchase them. I don't care. Might not feel good coming out, though. Fair enough. I guess I should have paid before I ate the last one. I apologize. Yes, um, well, it seems you're very new to these parts. I... Yeah. Uh, I'm actually here... Uh, from my city, and I'm trying to learn more about the, the overworld culture. Tell me more about this piece of candy. What does it do? What does it taste like? Roll something here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a constitution save. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are downcast as he picks up the petrified mouse, and he's going to say, Yes, this uh, candy. Uh, it's very rare on the surface here. Uh, one of the dangerous mice beasts. Uh, roll insight, please. Also, I feel like being that he is evolved from like some sort of carnivorous fish animal, I feel like, I feel like Clonos could down a, a petrified mouse. It will taste good, but I feel like he could keep it down. I was rolling at disadvantage in turn, like, just purposely, because I, I, I'm fully, like, content that this is candy. Uh, strangely enough, the shopkeeper, whose emotions have been bouncing between, like, anger and frustration and genuine confusion, he doesn't sound very sure of himself when he says, Yes, this is very rare. Uh, uh, five gold pieces. Yep, this is candy. Uh. Even to your naive mind it doesn't sound like he's it doesn't sound like he's sure I think you're lying to me how about a single gold well I would never lie to I'd, sure take it take it and he thrusts the mouse towards you what does it taste like I think such a delicacy is better experienced rather than explained 
as he turns okay. his head away as you're gonna... <laughs> I eat it. Okay. Yeah, at this point I will ask you to make a constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> That's a ten. He's gonna fucking make a death save at this point. Like, it's a good thing we just leveled up because you would have downed yourself eating shit. <laughs> oh man, that'd be fucking hilarious to do. <laughs> Things Brandon didn't prepare for. Give this man eating. some inspo, man. <laughs> uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do this to you. <laughs> Why not? Oh, I don't like that. So, so the petrified mouse, you eat it. And it comes to life. And then, you know how you can kind of hear like the gas moving in your joints and stuff, and you you can hear your body sometimes. You can hear your body. It's making this strange rumbly, crackly noise. Kind of like uh, if some water was being flash frozen or something. Just strange and alarming crackling. Good. And uh, conveniently, Mungark and Gallus are in the Agora right now to witness as uh, Klonos turns to stone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mungark turns and goes, Well, that not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to say that Gallus isn't here, but like. I imagine he walks in as soon as this happens. It's like, you know we're supposed to leave in a few hours, right? How do we unstone him? Oh. Oh, God. So the stall owner, by the time you get over there, has dashed the fuck away. <laughs> um, leaving leaving Kronos there uh, petrified. Uh, so, presumably, the effect of this is magical. Uh, it's a good thing we're all highly skilled wizards. To undo it, you'd you'd probably need to see someone who does magic. So I mean, you're not you're not far from the the uh, what's that? The street of the gods where all the priests are and stuff. Maybe they can help. Bungurk's um... gonna pick up Klonos and like tuck him under his arm and be like, "All right, little man, let's go." Brandon, can I? He's very heavy, but you can carry him easy enough. What's up? Um, can I just off screen because I'm not taking screen time away from this? Can I off screen buy a longsword? Yeah, it's fine. Fantastic. Uh, whatever, whatever the price is in the fub. It's uh, I think it's like fifteen. It's like it's it's. Uh, let's see weapons. It is exactly fifteen. Great. Right. Um, yeah, I'll do that, and it'll be like a gladius or something nice and Greek. Cool. All right, let's let's. Well, gladius would actually be Roman. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I, just gladius change a letter. Fun. Just change a letter, and that's Greek. <laughs> Greek get a funny letter with an accent over it, and yeah, I'm looking enough. up uh, Xiphos. Oh yeah, there there oh. you go. But it's like it's long, it's big. Um, anyway. Uh, that's what she said. Yeah, no, I was thinking of, like, would it be would it be a little too over... Would it be a little too blue to get a curved sword? You hear those warriors from Malakia came. They got big uh, curved swords. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Let's go... <laughs> Let's go deal with Klonos being rock hard, shall don't make we? Don't petrify another piece. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Mungark is gonna is gonna walk into the the place with all the nerds from earlier, and be like, well, these "My friend here are... is an idiot. <laughs> Can you help him?" And I imagine that Mungark is not super careful with Klonos either, so he probably like clips his head on the door or something. Dunk. Whenever Clonus uh, comes... Isaac, roll me a d100. <laughs> hey. He comes back with, like, a bit of his head missing. Ooh. Oh, that's a... That was awfully yeah, close, that's but that's fine. Um, yeah, part of, like, your armor gets chipped or something. I, if you if you'd actually fucking roll the one, I'd be like, okay, you're, there's gonna be something debilitatingly wrong with you now. <laughs> I have to you're speak fine. with a lisp. I have to do a lisp for, for the rest of the campaign. Please, no. <laughs> Guys, 
This is very serious. <laughs> I kind of love Mungard it. just like, set, like drops him on the ground and is like, "My friend is an idiot. Can you help?" So, because he didn't specify, I'm just gonna say he brought him to the temple of uh, Ephara. And yeah, Le Leander will be there. He, at this point, uh, immediately been a while regrets since you guys died. choosing us. <laughs> it's it's early afternoon, and he's just kind of cleaning up the temple. And he says, "Yes, how can I?" That's a uh, strange statue you have there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this how not statue. It... This Clonos. How did this happen? I. We take eye off of him for five seconds, and this this happened. I we ask him when you fix him. Oh. Uh, you want me to curse a real sword? Ooh. Like, oh. Okay, okay. I I know magic that can cure him. Uh, services for this would normally cost more. Given you're working for the city, I would accept 200 gold pieces. It's coming out of his paycheck. All right, I'll... What you see, his purse is currently inaccessible as it is also still. I'll front up a hundred. I have fifty gold. Alright, so. I'll front up two hundred. Okay. I own you now. Um, <laughs> after an hour of casting greater restoration. Uh hooray, close is back. And as soon as I come back I'm like, Sir, this tastes awful. Huh. Hey, you're in a temple now. There's there's that old guy with the beard who's looking at you. Welcome back to the, the world of the living. Something. You have broken the record by dying at least twice in a week, which I think is more than anyone has done. Technically, Leander will pipe in. Uh, this wasn't death. This was petrification. It was close it's... enough. Yeah, that's that's way worse. Mungard's just gonna whap him on the back of the hand, head with a hand and be like, "Tell me, don't eat food." <laughs> <laughs> You I idiot! All you all need better. You all need better candy up here. Well, we need to give you a rundown of what qualifies as candy, I believe. Go for the more colorful things next time. Is my all right? I imagine Mungart might be colorblind. <laughs> Only because he's a cow. Species. One guard can see just fine. Thank you. <laughs> well, Continues to not know the difference between green and blue. So between me and you, friend, um, taking to the priest, dude, uh, some of that candy really kind of tore me up. Can you, can you help a guy out? Out of character, I'm asking for healing. He'll bring someone over to lay on hands to heal you for your fucking rectal bleeding, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Just please be more careful as you embark on this quest. I perish. I cannot even comprehend what would happen to Theros if Callisto succeeds in her mad quest. We'll keep a closer eye on him from now on. He opens up his little journal. Candy bad. Let's perhaps focus on something a little more uh, palatable, like finding a boat to get us uh, out of here. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I I think I've I've had my uh, fill of uh, delicacy. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, are you guys going to the harbor now, or are you doing any more preparation or self petrification I'm good. Actually, can <laughs> I go eat that mouse again? No. We will leave you. <laughs> One cart, not babysitter. This, maybe it's better the second time. What's left of that mouse is now like a rock I'm, somewhere no, in your I'm bowels good. that you will at some point pass painfully. Good, good. Like a kidney stone, but worse. <laughs> Honestly, it's got yeah, a better. No, I, I got... Coming, it's coming out of a larger hole. Anyway, uh... yeah. Oh, crazy. No, I'm I'm good with whatever. I don't have any other preparation. 
All right, we're heading to the harbor. I can't believe it got charged 200 gold for a stupid tax. <laughs> well, you're gonna eat something petrified. <laughs> Shit's gonna happen. Yeah. Hi. Uh, incidentally, I'm just gonna say for funsies that that was a mouse that happened to be petrified by like a gorgon. So there was some residual magic That's that was like me. Kind of what I was figuring cool. anyway. Yeah, I'm cool. Okay, so I, let's see. Can I also, um, just uh, off the cuff a little bit here, uh, can I just say that I'm disappointed that you didn't label the stages for wearing the Elpis mask instead of stages you shouldn't even phases? Just to make it no COVID joke, no. You know, phase one, phase two, masks. No. Oh. Ooh. All right, all yeah, right. Yeah, boo. Yeah, fair. Okay. I deserve uh, that. Sailors and dockers' calls echo across the harbor. Hammering from the dockyards and screaming seagulls accompany the many voices. Screaming seagulls. Okay, Good. nice touch. Uh, workers carrying sturdy crates and thick sacks whirl between the ships and warehouses. Hey. While burly... Shut up. <laughs> burly merchants <laughs> argue about the prices. A stiff breeze carries in salty air from the sea. It accumulates as a thin white sheet on the houses and people. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, so, what do? Uh, let's find ourselves a captain. Okay, well, you can see a number of ships and people milling about uh, the place and the ships. Boat number one. Yeah, I was gonna. I didn't know if I don't know if like they named their ships back here, but I'm gonna like look for one that's named something like I don't know the Greasy Spartan, and then just Ew. Walk, just like walk up to someone. And uh, who do I speak to about chartering a boat here? Uh, incidentally, the boat that you are walking up to uh, on the boat parts keel would it be the keel? Whatever. It, Somewhere on the stern of the boat, every part of the poop will be the name, the shame of Argos. Ooh, ooh. Uh, so there's a rough character who's uh, working, bringing like sacks of provisions uh, up to the ship, and you you stop him and ask him. Well, uh, the yeah, captain. Sure. The captain would be willing to <laughs> bring you on a voyage? Sure. What about a voyage to a very specific place? Uh, Arixmatis, in particular. He'll cock an eyebrow. Hey, Arixmatis. I, I don't bloody well know where that kraken would be. How can we find someone who does know? Oh, you do know where it is, actually. Oh, it that was said to be at. Uh, 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 we were specifically told where it was. <laughs> yeah, for Blois Eddies. Where the fuck? We were. We were specifically not. told. A. Thermocles. Thermocles. Eddies. The Thermocles Eddies. Well, I will relay this to him. Uh. He'll go dead-eyed for a second. He'll just utter, are you serious? Absolutely. And would you believe me if I told Utterly. you... Utterly. <laughs> um, <laughs> would you believe me if I told you that the fate of Miletus uh, rides on you helping us or not? He'll put down a sack of... What do you expect is flour? Because he, he just drops it. And part of it just splits open and sprays out some flour. He'll dust off his hands and say, "There's no way, our captain. Now we've we've fought Leonin on the seas. We've fought Leonin on the land. There's no way we're heading to those eddies. Very very well. The only captain around here mad enough." Uh, gonna walk away uh grab grab on shoulder grab okay he is looking kind of angry now captain who 
Uh, you want to? Hmm. Your choice of intimidation or persuasion. Oh, it's definitely going to be intimididdle because I don't have no persuasion. Kronos gets petrified by the flower. Fuck. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, this is actually kind of a hardened looking sailor. He shrugs off your head and says, Go bother someone else. What my friend means is it would be very, uh, very helpful if you could give us the name of this captain. I mean, we could, uh, maybe put in a good word for you on the docks. <laughs> you know, just tell everyone on the docks how cool you are. He's gonna laugh at that and say, now, You haven't been here very long. I don't have much of a good name around here, and I doubt some strangers speaking well of me would do me any good. No, yeah, well. Probably would do me less good. Keep, no, no thank you. Keep walking, keep uh, talking. It seems to be all you're good for. Monkark is going to walk up. And did, <laughs> did we get, like, a written letter from the people saying what we, uh, what they would do for us if we got the mask back? No, but... Now that you're asking about that kind of shit, I will point out that what you guys do still have is that uh, badge oh, of the coin. Yeah. yeah, so uh, Mungark's going to walk up and shove the coin in the guy's face and say, Unless you'd like to spend the rest of your life behind a jail cell, I, su I suspect that you will be helping us find a way to erase some of these. All right, all right, all right. The Madman of a captain you're looking for is Captain Argon. Look for the uh, what the hell's he called his ship? The Eternal Seeker. Should be the other end of the harbor as he gestures. Um you can generally tell that the area around here is kinda rough, but where he gestures to, that end of the docks looks especially shady. Man, we're all muscle boys, we can handle it. Captain Argon's the one you want if you really want to drown yourselves. Captain Argon. Mongark is gonna breathe heavily and then shove the guy in the water. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna be able to you just This is water nerd. And then uh, storm off towards the direction you pointed. Okay. Uh, heading down the dock. Uh, you get a combination of laughter and glares from people who saw you push that random fuck into the harbor. Um, you'll eventually reach what must be the Eternal Seeker. Aside from the drab black sails, the ship doesn't differ much from the rest anchor in the harbor. Uh, several clawed bronze shields reinforce the hull, which is made from planks of varying colors. Leaning against the rail, a leather-clothed and masked figure lets its hidden eyes wander across the harbor. Its golden mask glimmers in the light. Mask! Down! Hmm. All right. Do you know uh, Captain Argon? That would be me... We hear that you might might provide us with passage. Passage where? To the, the Eddies, there, whatever that word is. Thermocles Eddies. Yeah, that one. Is that five times fast? Uh, while he was just casually leaning on the, uh, casually leaning on the rail, he'll stand up to full height and put his hands on the rail. Uh, apparently giving you full attention, but you couldn't really tell behind the mask. Alright. We need a crew, though. No one much wants to sail with me, so you're gonna need to find someone to do that. How many men do you need to man the, the crew? For a ship this size, you're gonna need at least five sailors. Well, you have three. I dare say each of us has the strength of two. Strength or not, you need to be in more than one place at once, and uh, I don't think you can quite do that, no, can you? Well, we might have to go and call upon someone else. What? Well, 
I dare say we keep him as a last resort, but what about that Dio fellow? Uh, I think I have him as a handout there. I do. So he... Uh, he is known to publicly debate, publicly intoxicated. He's also a professor of philosophy at the Decatia. He's kind of a fat old man. Uh, he, he might well know about sailing, but you don't get the sense that he's uh, especially experienced at it. Oh, I don't care how good he is at it. I just know that it would be funny. Um... <laughs> what about the water nerd we threw? <laughs> yeah, because he's really going to want to sail with us after that. Um, I, I jump into the dock and go and grab him. Do you want to go sailing? Yeah, you guys headed a ways down the dock, so he's out of sight wherever exactly he is. Well, if Talia's... Mungark, uh... Mungark is going to look at the captain and be like, Where do you sailors drink around here? Uh, he... Without saying a word, he's just going to point to a random-looking... Um, uh, rather, a random seemingly a hovel it just looks like a ramshackle little place that someone would live but if he's pointing better then apparently that would be where people drink there that is where we will find our, our sailors come I'm just gonna back into the other two and start walking that way you think they'll have candy I'm loving the established Clono's voice so much, by the way. I just want you to know that. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, let's follow. Let's go. Yeah, so this is going to be a horrible little hole in the wall of a hole in the wall. It's essentially just a shack on the waterfront that has a bunch of cramped tables in it packed with uh, burly looking sailors. Is it one of the sketchy places that has like bar peanuts and like peanut shells on the floor? Uh, it has what you suspect are peanut shells on the floor, but you can't find any peanuts anywhere. Oh. Tavern and actually, as you take a step, one of the uh, peanut shells underfoot actually appears to be uh, human teeth. <laughs> Good. Uh, tavern name generator says this place is called the Diamond Carrot Pub. Um, you know what? If it is called that, then I'm going to say that the sign that is posted outside of it is actually like three signs that have been stolen, broken, and like nailed to this place from separate uh, buildings. Good. Whatever science they could steal is how they named it. That's exactly what <laughs> they did. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... I mean, uh... <sighs> Let me think. It, it's decently populated. Uh, there's about a dozen people in here and all. Uh, let's think about how to, um, so I guess, um, I will, Gallus will stride up to, uh, just like an unoccupied table and just slap it with his hand to get everyone's attention in the building. You immediately get their attention. <clears throat> they look angry. Who here is man enough for dangerous work? On the high seas, he says that, but like without a pause. Uh, one of the men who I'll just say he's a Leonin, with the number of scars crisscrossing over his face and his arms, is going to bellow. I'm mad enough, but this better damn well pay. The last captain I worked under, he tried to undercut me, and <laughs> let's just say he fed the sharks. We sell for Rarixmatis. You will be paid handsomely. I assure you. Well, I won't work for any less than two silver a day. Fair, fair. Which, which, yeah. Yeah. You guys wanted to look into, that is a very fair way. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Us. Then come aboard, then. 
Uh, I'm gonna let's see. There are about twelve of them in here. Let's see. I was gonna say. Uh, oh. Whenever he said we need five sailors, I assume that doesn't include himself. It does not include himself. Yeah. yeah. And uh, actually, seven more of them, surprisingly, will get up and, you know, if you want to hire them, they are looking for work. Hmm. Though they do expect the same wage, two silvers a day. Two silvers a day. Well, I mean, I have so much gold, so I mean, fucking. Let's hire them all. Well, four of them sit with their... Actually, one of them is just flat, unconscious. Possibly dead, actually. You don't see him <laughs> breathing. Uh, he just wakes up on a ship. It, You're higher. It is ten silver to the gold, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so... I mean, like, a gold gets us five men for a day. Um, so, like, let's just, like, round it up to two gold... Um, I alone have enough gold. Well, we would have had more if someone wouldn't have turned himself into stone. Um, <laughs> but I've got enough alone to keep him on for 20 days. And I don't know how much you guys have left. To keep the party afloat, as it were? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Here, 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 here. Um, I mean, I once we're on the water, one. where are they going to go? <laughs> I, could <laughs> because... pay, I could pay five men for... It's, it's a single gold for, for a day for five? Yeah. I could pay them for 2,630 days. <laughs> yeah, we can just fucking... They can't leave after we sail because, you know, the implication. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to hey. take them out on the boat. We're going to tell them our plan. And then, you know, they're going to look around. They're going to see all the water. You see they have nowhere to go. And then you know they'll they'll just come along because of, you know the implication. <laughs> God damn it. Brandon, it's almost like a requirement for you to watch Always Sunny. Like I'm begging you. Like I'll put together some of like the best episodes that you need to know for this group. But like, oh god. Um, Any. I... Sounds like oh. you're gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna send him every episode. Not <laughs> sound okay. No, I mean, I'm not threatening them. I'm just saying it's, it's the implication. The G-A-L-L-U-S <laughs> system. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, let's let's take all the lads. Uh, as, as everyone knows, the more crew you have on a ship, the faster it sails. So which which ship will it be that we're serving under? Oh, the the one that it's said they take. Uh, oh, um, it was called the Eternal Seeker. The Eternal Seeker. I was about to just say that. Under the Captain uh, Argus. Several of them will audibly groan. It'll be dangerous. Do you want? It'll be arduous. But you'll have a tale to tell when you get back home. If we get back home, one of them belly aches, but they they will regardless go because it, it's money. I was going to say, Mungard's going to be like, do you want to be paid or not? One of the ones who's not going is going to shout, that man's a curse. You're a curse. Well, it's sailing with a curse or letting Melitus burn. I say let it burn. All right, we've weeded out all the real men out of the cowards in this place. Let's go back to our boat. <laughs> bar fight, oh, bar only, fight, took, bar if fight. I kept track of every single like minor NPC that you guys begrieved at some point. Do you guys yeah, come we'll back to Melitus after finding all the fragments of the mask and it's just like, hey, we have a word with you. <laughs> they just they have like a concerned citizens against Gallus, Mungark, and Klonos. <laughs> or no, you come back, get your award, and it's like, yeah, now we want to run for council. And no, no one, one votes, votes for it. <laughs> I don't think any of us are running for it. Well, I, I really like the idea of Mungark in a suit and tie. <laughs> Mung <laughs> Mungark make Melitus great again. <laughs> oh. Mungark running for a, for secretary. Me take minutes very good. <laughs> <laughs> Me take minutes by force. Mungar Me take hours <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> Mungar considering extensive education reform. Mungar heard of these things called aqueducts. G 
good for public sector. Oh, Christ. Uh, Alright. Where the fuck was I now? Yeah, we're, we're bringing uh, these boys to the boat. Okay. Uh... So, some of the men already knew what they were in for, but some of them are kind of gonna, uh, not gasp, because, I mean, they're hardened sailors, but they're gonna look a little sheepish when they set eyes on Captain Argon. Uh, for the benefit of Isaac and Tyler, I'm sure Josh already knows this, but given his golden mask, I'm, I'm not gonna make you roll for this, it's a funerary, it's basically a funerary mask that Captain Argon seems to be wearing. Oh, is but, he? I, I actually do know about this. Uh, is he like one of the the undead dudes? The returned, also known as the Nostun, are undead creatures that escape the underworld. Hell yeah! Yeah. Kind of looks like a Dagother. Uh, pretty fucking much, yeah. Um, I mean, like, I, I remember whenever I was reading up on Arcos to uh. To like you know get an idea of where Gallus is from, it's, it sounds like they t they tussle with these dudes pretty frequently. But I mean you know, fuck it, it's still cool. Like, he's taking it's yeah, either this guy. Go ahead. This guy probably gives you some vibes. It's either him or no one. Like so, fuck it. At the very least, this guy seems to take care to cover up properly because he has a mask and he's like head to toe covered in like leather so he's he doesn't look all that corpse like right. fortunately anyway he'll look up and down at every man that comes aboard he seems satisfied content at least with uh, the sailors that you now have right uh, we need about an hour to stock up the supplies and we'll be good to go let us point us and, to where you need us. Yeah, I'm not going to bother charging the players with whatever fucking support. It's not a big deal. That... Ew. Bad. Bad. No. No, it's like the guy who was, like, raping Marcellus Wallace in uh, Pulp Fiction. Ah, oh, bad. Yucky. Bring out the gimp. Uh, okay, so with that horrifying image in our head... Um, once everything is in order, uh, Captain Argon will set sail. The Black Sail. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, that's metal as fuck. Argon is laying a course for the eddies, and some of the sailors seem unsure of where exactly Thermocles' eddies are, but Captain Argon didn't ask you any more questions when you said where you want to go. He just said yes. Like he seems to know where he's going. None of us are sailors, man. Like I'm just letting this dude figure it out. Yeah, that's fine. He seems to know where he's going. Um. Okay. <sighs> Let. I'm just gonna set up the next scene thing here. Actually, that works out great. Uh, delete that. Move that. Uh. Okay, so bear with me. This is the best I can do with what I know of Roll20 so far, but da 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 da. Oh, dude, that's fine. You getting me? Uh, yes. This is the Eternal Seeker. Such she is. The, the proportions are all pretty much fucking right. She's like one uh, woman's certainly... invisible jet. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, circular thing here is the mast, and rectangle thing here is like the stairs down to the hold. Uh, I will drag out your tokens for you, because why not? I like Leon and Homie, by the way. Like, that dude's rad. I wonder what he thinks about how Gallus very openly wears a Leon and Hyde on his armor. He doesn't seem to care. Cool. What, what, a, what a bro. Uh, okay. Where is Roth? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, hours will go by, uh, the sailors will pull at various ropes and pulleys, and you guys can't quite make heads or tails of what it is they're doing. 
Um, night will pass. It'll be the next day. You're out on the open sea. Um, uh, all three of you roll me a d20. We'll, we'll play a little game here. Oh, boy. Because I've been rolling so well today. Sick. Oh, fuck me. Oh, we tied. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Uh, Mogarg and Kronos, while well, you're just kind of walking around the deck, uh, closer to the stern, like where uh, uh, Captain Argon is, you... It's... Uh, some point in the morning, you happen to catch him uh, taking off his mask and polishing it, and what's underneath is just a gray, blank, lifeless fleshy face with no discernible features on it and some of the other sailors also notice this and they look visibly disturbed y'all gonna be cool I see that you have already experienced the other side uh he's gonna continue polishing his mask he doesn't seem bothered by the fact that you noticed in fact he, he really doesn't seem to care not that you could tell, because he doesn't have facial expressions. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I... I don't remember much about the other side, but yeah. I, too, came close to the same experience, but, uh... was saved my, by my god at the last second. Uh, it seems I have a higher calling to serve before my time. Better fortune, at least, than some of us. Hmm, yes, indeed. Uh, okay, one of the sailors will uh, heave over the side. The, the, the rest of them are fine, the, but one of them is absolutely going to barf after seeing his face. Huh. Like they're up. Pansy. To think we hired this man. <laughs> Throw him overboard. Another nerd for the water. <laughs> That's episode title. That's it. It's been a while since we've bullied somebody. <laughs> I gotta bully somebody or else I start getting the shakes. <laughs> I still like... What the hell was it? Izena Goose? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Where the hell is that catch box I'm looking for? Uh, okay. The sea is calm and the sky is blue, as the sound of roars reverberates through the ship's hull. Tentacles wrap over the rail, and winged boost beasts shoot out of the waters. And well, that escalated quickly. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. it's we're 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 in an RPG and we're on a we're on a nautical journey. It can't go well. That's it's the rules. Yeah, this is like six days into the journey, by the way. Um. All right, dude. I'm so excited because I can't do anything. Guess who can swim? Okay, right. you guys can roll initiative while so... I get my play list here that will hopefully actually work. All right, boys. Which one of us is Jason? Which one of us is the Argonauts? Jason. <laughs> well, the captain is called Argon. Hey, so hey the... look at that. Talk about ugh, five on an ish. Love it. Love it. Very good. Oh my god. I got a six. We suck. Ooh. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, Christ. Dude, we rage, boys, though. It's fine. You're right. They, they have to come to me, anyways. I'm not I am my I javelins thrive, into the sea. <laughs> I thrive best when angry. So oh, I forget what I'm doing here. Um, Sorry, I had to... little man. <laughs> little boy. <laughs> you can kill any of the sailors. Just don't take my undead bro or my cool Leonin friend. We can have well, like we gotta uh, at least have two of them survive. So yeah. we can like do a thing where we're like, you know, ah, well, I killed your people, but we're friends now. Kind of like a what was it, Battlefield Earth or whatever, the one where the dude has to be like friends with the alien. 
I think it was Battlefield Earth. You know, the one that, like, the Scientology guy made, but it was, like, super bad. And, like, no one liked it. Battlefield... Starship oh. Troopers. No, Starship Troopers were wonderful. <laughs> Fuck you. That's a gem, my friend. I wish I could use these tokens for this encounter. Starship Troopers <laughs> too. But, no. Uh, I do have prepared. Battlefield Earth little. should have been a Tyler Perry movie. Oh, no. Oh, yucky. Oh, yucky. Well, no, this is okay. Th that means we're getting close to, to the Kraken, right? Th this is a good thing. Hey, no one said it's the Kraken. Don't worry. Bad. No one said it's the Kraken. <laughs> it's... Are there <laughs> cannons on the ship? No. Nah, we're... This is like the days of the Trium, boys. We don't have gunpowder in on, um... On Theros. Imagine if, like, someone planeswalked from, like, uh, God, what's the steampunk, uh, realm, land, place? Uh, that's Kaladesh. Yeah, imagine if someone just, like, fucking planes, uh, planeswalked from Kaladesh or, oh, yeah. to fucking Theros with, like, a gun and shit, and they're like, hey, motherfuckers, this thing called Blat Blat. Like, ah, oh, that'd be crazy. Uh, roll initiative for the thing. <laughs> I guess it's going first. <laughs> oh, boy. Fuck. Hey, I'll fudge rolls, but when you guys roll super shitty, I mean, shit's gonna happen. It's fine. Uh, and then... Uh, where were my... I'm gonna ask a question in Discord of Brandon. Do it. Uh... Ooh, yuck. Not another one of those fuckers. Uh, yes, I shouldn't ask this right now. I'll ask it later. Alright. It's too close to metagaming. Oh my god, what is this? Yeah, oh no, great. wait. Oh, fortunately, some of them didn't roll so well. I mean, still more than you guys, but uh, whatever. It's fine. I can only do so much. Why is there a Chimera and a Birdie Boy? Because fuck you guys. Remember when we said letting Brandon DM would be a good idea? <laughs> we thought that Chimera was dead, but it turns out we just really pissed it off. Oh, it looks different. It's the one leading the campaign against us. Like, it, it's gotten signatures in its petition. This is, like, the gelatinous cube of Theros. <laughs> we're gonna, like, throughout all of our campaigns, we're gonna end up, like, accidentally create, like, prodding the creation of a gelatinous cube union. It's gonna like demand like better better working conditions and safety from adventurers. Okay, so uh Oh heads up, I am here I will be here, but I will I'm going to mute for a second. Okay, but yeah. I will be listening so I can do my turn, but I'm gonna be muted. So if you don't if you get to my turn, because I'm real bad about this, if you get to my turn I'm silent because I haven't unmuted myself and I'm gonna have to repeat everything I say. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so, the thing will do things now. Um, that movie's closer because it's stupid not to have them within range. That's, that's stupid. I mean, the other guys can fly, but come on now. <laughs> so yeah, you feel the whole thud and creak as something is probably attached to the ship right now. And these tentacles are going to tentacle. Uh, let's see. That one uh, plus five. No. Uh, but that one. No. How about? They just have oh, okay. a hard time over there. Uh. Moderately, okay. One sailor gets grabbed up by a tentacle. And he does okay. the... He does the, uh, for now. the Wilhelm scream. Yeah. Uh, now for... Ooh, now I get to... Ooh... <sighs> 
pull out this stat block again. I say again, but it's actually different. Uh, I think I actually have an image for you, too. Yes, I do. I uh, just need to find what I called it. Uh, da, 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 no, yeah, there it is. Okay. I will put this in the general for you guys to see. It's the gimp. It's just the gimp. It's a giant water gimp. There's your chimera, lad. Oh, fuck yeah! Uh, yeah, uh, the rip-dyed chimera. Hell yeah! Uh, Dude, that's the most metal shit I've ever seen! <laughs> it's pretty good. God, that's fucking... And it's flying in right now to fuck shit And up. it's Nick's born, too. Oh, dude, uh, I'm gonna have to find it. Aw, oh, damn, that shit's fucking rad. Are you kidding me? I like how the uh, <laughs> the flavor text on the card is I want one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for Kronos. Cause that that's that's fine. He looks like a fish, he's used to eating fish, that makes sense to me. Uh roll for a bite. As the shark head tries to bite Kronos. No. Uh yeah, I'm a. F that's not gonna it's an hit you. Yeah, okay. it's not gonna hit you. It tied. Um, cool. Get wrecked, motherfucker. Uh, oh, so I can't do that yet. But it will. Go in for a crab claw attack. The claw. Ah, uh, claw. No, that's a miss. It's a fucking stupid chimera. Okay. Uh, Kronos, it is your turn. There's a chimera in your face. Uh, well, there are three faces of a chimera in your one face. Um. Incidentally, so that's that, and this is basically just a harpy over here. Man, I don't know. Um, because I feel like I'm going to be best suited to kind of round up everything else, but at the same time, I do not want to actively disengage from a Chimera with that shit quicker. I mean, it only gets one opportunity attack. It's not like all of its faces get one. That's true. I'm going to, and I'm not going to use the disengage action, so it would take it the chance. I'm going to... I'll pick it up after Sorry, you leave. Would you guys believe me if, if I said I was eating? If I was eating again? No, I absolutely would believe you. As a matter of fact, I would find it strange if you weren't eating. Now I'm eating. You sons of bitches. So I am going to jump off the ship. All right. And start to swim and I'm going to come and I'm just going to try to take out these tentacles kind of one by one. I'm not going to do the always sunny thing again, but the immediate first thing that popped up in my head when you said that was Clonos commits suicide in the always sunny font. <laughs> so uh, you bonus said you action. Disengage? I am not doing that action, so it could take one. It will. Uh, Sharky going to bite. Going to try to, anyway. Uh, it will hit, actually. I'm... I'm... Uh, okay, I, I, that's fine. I was gonna do something, but I'll do it before I hit. That's fine. Uh, I should have done this before I did, but I, I yeah. Uh, wow. It's cool. Wow. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, Twelve piercing damage Ow, as wow. the shark head bites you. Cool. I definitely should have done what I meant to. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I did my movement because I was going to bonus action shield of faith. So now my AC is twenty. Oh. And then I'm going to hit it with one hit anyway, so... Okay, so I'm going to hit this tentacle with a... Well, okay. I guess while I'm swimming down, I'm going to... I mean, obviously, I, I can put my... I can go underwater. Do I see this is, like, all connected to a single being, and I assume it's a kraken? It is connected to a single being, and it is not as big as you might have been expecting. Uh, okay. You're... Oh, we lose. Oh, we lost the bot. Oh, well. 
Um, you're a water boy, so you are familiar enough to know that this is a giant octopus. Okay, cool. I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit this tentacle. The 19. That will hit. For six piercing damage, and that will be my turn. That tentacle is quickly going to retract. Oh, uh, of course I used the one that was the initiative boy. So that's it for your turn, oh, alright. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But I'm eating chip beef, so it's not terrible this time. Um... Okay, the crewman. Let's see. They're gonna attack tentacles because they don't want to be grabbed by them. That would be bad. Oh, that one has actually been a fucking hit. Kudos. Uh, let's see, what's the save this guy needs to beat? To not be octopus. DC. Oh, okay, no, he did not make the DCs. He's probably fucked. <laughs> uh, that's a nat one. Got my way. Discord update thing. That's not good enough. No. These guys are really better at sailing than. Playing. That's why they get paid for it. One. You mean we didn't hire level 4 adventurers to be our sailors? No, you really didn't. Okay, well, Leona and man got it, it, at least. Um... I'm telling you, he's like, he's our new pet NPC, guys. Well, holy fuck. Oh. Um. Uh, ma -ma 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 -ma. This tentacle, uh, Mo 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 along the waves, bloodied. Monster. As mo 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 it matches my name the best. So when I activate this tentacle closest to me, it needs to make a dexterity save. You activate the tentacle. Your mother, hey. Kaiba, I activated her. I'm gonna say it gets disadvantaged because, I mean, it's a fucking tentacle, it doesn't have eyes. Yeah. Holy shit, it rolled really well. Uh, what's the DC? Uh, 14. I'm afraid it actually made the DC. Okay, it's gonna take one, uh, shock damage. Okay. Yeah, it takes one lightning damage. Uh, and then we're gonna... We're gonna move here. And I'm gonna attack this tentacle. With my battle axe. Uh, does a 13 hit? Let me see. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. So it's gonna do 8 damage. Wow, that was a bad roll. That's okay. That tentacle is going to disappear beneath the waves. And Ow. that uh, that sailor is gonna splash into the ocean. Okay. Monkard's gonna be like, quickly swim to the boat. And is that all? Yep. Okay, gals, you're up. Okay. Well, we're going to uh, head up to Shark Manticore and make a big display of a uh, fighting him. I'm going to attack him. And as I do, I will peruse my here superiority die things. Um, 
Okay, when you hit, you can expend to attempt to... Okay, so I have to hit first. Got it. All right. I'm gonna pull out my new uh, sword boy and hit him with an 18. That will hit. All right, perfect. So, nine slashing. And I am going to expend a superiority die to use Goading Strike. Uh, I add the superiority to the attack's damage roll, and he has to make a wisdom saving throw. So six extra damage, so 15 damage in total, and yeah, I'll need a, uh, it's a DC 13 wisdom save. Uh, he fails hard. Okay, so, uh, he has disadvantage on all attacks that aren't directed towards me until the end of my next turn. Don't worry, he'll, he'll direct him towards you, don't worry. Right, well, the extra damage was nice, at least, and that'll do it. The Harpy's turn. Yeah, yeah, she is here, isn't she? Oh, God. <clears throat> she's gonna fly this away. And she's going to hurl some sort of a spear at this sailor. Aha, uh -huh. and this guy is going to drop to the deck with some sort of spear sticking through him. Because you hate it when that happens. Yeah, don't you hate that when you got some kind of spear sticking through you? Ow! Uh, that was my good arm. I was going to go to the gym tomorrow. Ah! Ah! Oof, ooey, ow. Tentacle boys. Uh, this one is going to... Grapple that boy. The boy is grapple. <laughs> Not my boy. We should probably pay the toll. Ah, oh, damn, we didn't pay the toll. Is that one gets grappled. Toll. Damn your toll, toll troll. It's the octo uh, toll. Okay. The Leonin does not get grappled. And... Hey. Oops, I did not write that correctly. Rolling the dice, there we go. Okay, and this boy gets grappled. Wow. Time for the Chimera. Uh, Gallus and this sailor can make me deck save. I would love to. Boom. 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 Remember the last time I got hit with the breath weapon? What the? Where's my? Oh, okay, twenty. I remember. So, uh, one of the heads on this thing is that of a disgusting eel, and it's gonna rear up and it's going to spew disgusting briny water onto uh, you and the one sailor. The one sailor gets fucking wrecked. But let's see, uh... As sailors do. Okay, that sailor's dead. He just gets... He just, like, battered with water. There's nothing but, like, a, a bunch of, like, barnacles on the deck left. Yeah, no, he gets, like, high-pressure washed into pieces, and the rest of him kind of flies off into the ocean. I touched a high-pressure uh, washer. Will take... oh, go ahead. No, oh, please, you go uh, ahead. When I was three years old, my uh, my grandpa rented a pressure washer and was pressure washing the side of his house. And I was like, oh, it's a hose. I've got to touch the water like I always do. Hee hee. I still have the scar on my wrist from it. Uh, but it wasn't... Holy shit. Yeah, it wasn't a fun day. I'm fine. I was fine. I was just three years old and indestructible. But it still hurt. Anyway. Uh, so speaking of hurt, you will... You only take five acid damage, and that's already halved. Um, okay, that's not yeah, bad. It, it burns, it's kind of hot, and it's gross, but you dodged most most of the way. I'm a chonky boy, path, I can take so. it. Yeah. Uh, and then is that all I can do, I think? Uh, no, it will also try to claw you. Come on, boy. 
Oh, right. Okay, it had to happen eventually. See, crit? Maybe. Uh oh. Bye, Gallus. It's fine. Gallus, uh, how much HP do you have right now? Uh, 30, uh, 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 34. Okay. Right. I don't feel as bad then. Take 23 damage as one of the claws just grips your shoulder and tears and crushes. I will regain six. Okay. As a reaction. Flo, you're up, buddy. Uh, right. There's a giant octopus attached to the underside of the boat. It looks big and stupid. I'm going to kind of go save this crew member, so I'm going to do 15 out this way, and then I'm going to go down here, just basically trying to avoid this the, the, that one opportunity attack. So, okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to... I'm gonna take a swing. Where did I put the character sheet? Why is it not coming up? Just go away. Let him, let him chill. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say you can roll with advantage because you're not aiming at like the flailing little tip of a tentacle. You're aiming more towards the base, so it's a lot easier to hit. Okay. Twenty-two. Oh yeah. For six more damage. That tentacle retreats back. Um, the octopus basically brings it in towards its side, like like you'd nurse an arm if it got fucking bludgeoned. Right, right. Um, and can I use <clears throat> the rest of my turn, like pseudo bonus action, however you want to do it, to kind of get this dude back at least to the boat, if not on the deck? Uh, you can. I mean, yeah, even if it's even if it's just float that way. Yeah, even if it's just to get him to where he can hold onto the boat and climb up himself, just basically. You just so grab him and help seat. him orient his way towards the boat, so he's at least okay. you know, in the right yeah, atmosphere. No, no, that's fine. I just don't want to like lose lose guys. Uh huh. We need to retain as many boys as we possibly can. Yeah, I'm not sure many of them are going to make it at this point. We just <laughs> They're like, rolling really shitty. We just drift silently through the sea, and that's how the campaign ends. Actually, this one might help. Gosh. Uh, this Actually, so question. Question. And this is from next turn, so it's not me trying to backtrack, but just... Um, are these tentacles functioning as a single unit. Like, if I were to... I guess... Would... If I were trying to affect them as a whole, would I need to cast it on the octopus itself, or could I cast it on the pinnacle? Um... I'd say, yeah, you can just cast it on the octopus. Whatever it is, I'd say just cast it on the octopus, and it would affect them all. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Food for thought, depending on how many crew boys start dying. I got an idea. Uh, <clears throat> I just have one roll left for the crew members, and it's your boy. Oh, he misses this time. Okay, well, he can't do it all himself. That's fine. Mungark. Okay. I'm gonna attack this one with mobile axe. I'm guessing a 10 doesn't hit. Unfortunately, no. Okay, I'm still gonna activate my uh, Storm Aura on the other one. So they need to make a deck save. Okay. Uh, it failed. Alright, it's gonna take three damage. Okay. Um, considering how much damage the octopus is taking overall, yeah, that's fine. That, that tentacle will retract. Is that it for your turn? Uh, yep, that's it. Okay. Gallus. <clears throat> well. Uh. Hey guys, I'll be right back. I gotta go let the dogs out. Okay, boss. Cool. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna slap him with this here. Well, yeah, we'll slap him with the sword. 
Uh, a critical right on back, motherfucker. How you like that? So let me uh, let me just double check something here. Uh, you add. You can expend one superior. Okay, so it's not a bonus action. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna uh, try and hit him with the goading strike. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this damage. So wow, fucking wonderful. He takes uh, eight slashing damage and an additional five from my superiority die. And he's gonna have to make me another wisdom save. While he does that, I'm gonna pop my second wind. Six HP. You failed. He fails, uh, so same thing. He disadvantaged if he tries to attack anyone except for me. Which, you know, not that much, but it's the bonus damage I'm going for. Okay. Uh, and that's... Uh, he's pouring blood at this point from the couple sword wounds you've given him. Just FYI. Yep, that's fine. And that'll be it. Bring it on, punk. Harpy's turn. Also, I don't know where we are at time, but like 10.30 generally where I'd prefer to stop if that's okay. Yep, we're getting close here to the cool, end. Cool, cool. I'm just going to throw a spear at this guy. Uh, that one will miss. Uh, a spear embeds itself in the deck of the ship. Okay. So with no breath weapon recharged, not that it would really do him much good, um, Chimera is gonna swipe at you. Swipe at me, boy. You have a shield up, right? Yeah. Okay, so it tries to bite you with its sharky mouth, but it just kind of gnaws out on your shield and marks it up a bit. Always assume I have my shield out, okay? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, it tries to lay into you with its claws again, but you quickly batter it away because you don't want to be hit by those again. Yes. Clonos, you're up, buddy. Okay. Um, is the octopus, like, securely wrapped around, or is it, like, way reaching? Basically asking if I can swim underneath the boat to get to the other side. Um, you can swim underneath the boat to get to the other side. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Double check distances. Can't quite get there. Uh, so I guess what I'm going to do. Well, if I go. Okay. I'm gonna get Also, I'm going to say that the octopus is occupying a space, like, uh, yay big, underneath the ship, of course. Oh, okay. That's not that big. I mean, I mean, it's huge, um, but, like, it could be a Kraken. All right, I've returned. Welcome back. Uh, okay, I am going to move to there. Um, I mean, I'm underneath the ship, so I don't know that the harpy will necessarily see me or anything. But if she comes, basically, if she comes here, I'm gonna thwap it. Okay. Or, and this is just a suggestion, <clears throat> you could stab the octopus. It's also right there. <laughs> mm, that's true. Fuck it. Let's. Get, yeah, you. You fair. Let's go. Go time. Again, I'll also give you advantage on this because it's it's adhered itself to the hull. It's not moving anywhere in a hurry. Yep. And that is nine piercing damage. And then as a free action, because I'm a fishy boy, I can talk to fishes. Well, I can communicate simple thoughts. Like, they can understand simple things. I'm going to, like, free action, just uh, tell it to yield. Okay. Glub, glub, and glub, glub. Glub, 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 glub. 
club. <laughs> okay, sailor's turn. Well, this guy's still floating because he sucks. Um, this fellow's going to be proactive. He's actually going to take the, the spear that was thrown at him. He's going to pull it out of the deck and he's going to throw it back at the harpy. Hey. Hmm. Fuck me, he's actually going to hit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, that's a little bit of damage. Uh... I'm oh yeah, this boy actually got eaten. Yeah, that should happen on the octopus turn. Yeah, this guy got eaten. Um, this one... Let's go try to get back on the ship. This one actually will get back on the ship, climbing up with a lot of difficulty, but, you know. Uh, I'm proud of these guys, to be honest. I mean, we've retained four. Not bad. Yeah, like after five. after an abysmal five, five. Uh, like first round, they're really picking it back up. Uh, <laughs> so your Leonin buddy is actually gonna sever the end of this tentacle I, completely. This dude is like dude. my backup character if Gallus dies. Okay. Then this sailor is gonna run over here and try to fuck up this tentacle. And it's gonna fail. Okay, well, again, they can only do so much. Mungark. Alright, um... Clonus is under the boat, right? Yes. Alright, well then this is only a little awkward. I'm gonna move to here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna attack the tentacle. Well, I'm the battle axe. Alright, that's a 12. That'll hit. Sick. 12 damage. Tentacle gone. Alright, and then I'm gonna use my Storm Aura on this Harpy. Okay. She makes the deck save. She fails. She takes one damage. I have ro rolled horribly on these. Ow. Just a d6, right? Okay, anything else? Nope, that's gonna be it. Okay, Gallus. Uh... Man, to restrain- to try to grapple? Or... To just add more damage with Goading Strike? Man, or I could just hit him and conserve what some. What would Gallus do? Yeah, you know what, that's a good point. So, we're gonna go ahead and make a regular attack. I imagine a 10 does not hit. Nope, um, unfortunately. So, let's see. I can forego one of my attacks. Ah, damn. Well, and that's all I got. <laughs> a missed attack. Sweet. Gallus whiffs. Okay, this harpy is going to kind of swoop back here. And she's going to chuck a spear at Mungark. Yeah. <laughs> Does a nine hit? <laughs> For sure not. Okay. Chimera's turn. Still no breath weapon. Um... Oh wait, no, that is... Okay, he got... He does have his breath weapon back. Okay. Um, it will provoke an opportunity attack from you, Gallus, as it's gonna try to fly away. Slap. Come on, roll. 19 to hit. <laughs> that will hit. So, um, let me see what this is. Immediately after you hit... Oh, it has to be on my turn, damn it. Um, when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, I'm gonna goading strike him, because it doesn't specify my turn. Alright. So, first of all, roll d d8, and he needs to make a wisdom save after taking 13 damage. Oh, so that adds, oh, that's awful damage. Um, well, don't worry about that. Uh... This thing turns to... You're not sure what it was going to do. It's going to fly away from you for sure, but... You drive your sword into the shark head, and suddenly the rest of it just goes limp, and it plunges into the ocean. Hell yeah. In a, in a 
big pool of sea foam and blood. One man to Chimera, baby. So, Kolonos, um, so you see two things. Uh, one, the giant octopus, which you tried to save, you surrender. It looked like it was going to oblige, and then it shook as more of its tentacles were, like, severed. And it detaches from the bottom of the ship as it kind of drifts away lifelessly now. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to come right here at the harpy. And I am... I'm going to flap it. I will point out that you're in the water and it's up in the air, like maybe 20 feet up in the air, so you could throw your trident, but you won't be able to just poke it. Bullshit. Okay. Your trident goes up, and your trident goes down, and it splashes into the water near you. Okay, I am going to... Ready my... You can only, re you can only ready actions, you can't re ready bonus actions, can you? Yeah, only actions. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to blow that, though. I could do it now, but I don't know if there's a point to do. No, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm good. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna dip back under the water though. Okay. Like I'm gonna stay where I'm at, but I'm gonna submerge. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this crewman's gonna get back on the ship. Uh they're actually gonna focus fire now. That's swell. One of them is going to pull the spear out of their fallen comrade and throw that. And the rest are going to be throwing a combination of daggers and fucking hand axes. These dudes are fucking raw. <laughs> okay, the spear hits. I'm just imagining, like, Clones oh, is swimming and you just see this hail of just, like, sharp <laughs> objects flying off the side <laughs> of the boat. <laughs> That's a crit. Well, my next turn tonight, can I... Can I... Can I free Willy it and, and jump out of the water for, like, flipper style and, and hit it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Leo, it had to be Leonin, bro, right? Lee Bronin? So not one of the mist. Good. <laughs> guys, we so, need to pack it in. We just pay these guys to do our jobs for us. Yeah, like, hot damn. Uh, no way, man. If they had clustered around the Chimera, <clears throat> they all would have fucking died, like, immediately. Um, so one of them throws a knife, and it hits the harpy in one of its wings. And it dips through the air, and it catches a hand axe in its chest. This, right across the titties. This dude just, like, how do you want to do this himself? And it lunges back up into the air as it is fighting gravity, and it takes another dagger in the belly. And then it swoops closer to the boat to tackle Mungark, and then the fucking Leonin, with the spear that it, he ripped out of his dead comrade's gut, throws it, and it pierces the harpy's chest, and it falls into the water, fucking dead. This guy needs a name, he needs a backstory, he needs, like, this, this, this dude's the boss, I love him. So, uh, combat over. Da -da 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 -da. Solid. Wow. Okay. That was a that was a combat. I can't believe that the NPCs just did have that fight for us. Uh, excuse you. I fucking soloed a Chimera, so it's like whatever. Oh, the Chimera. <laughs> I was I was I was supporting. Yeah. Making sure they didn't die. <laughs> Everyone helped. You get participation awards. It's okay. <laughs> All right, that's my second participation in one for session this, uh, for this campaign. <laughs> okay. Uh, so eventually, okay. So uh, 
Clonus is gonna free Willy back up onto the ship. <laughs> no, that's what I do too. I straight up just like from like 15 feet out, just jump up over everybody and land on the deck. He's making like dolphin noises. <laughs> How the uh, are you? Okay. So the sailors, after, uh, well, there's only the one fallen comrade that's left on the deck. Uh, and after uh, emptying his pockets, they will toss him overboard and then go back to their stations. Well, all right. Damn. <laughs> They're like, hold on. <laughs> no, like, straight up, like, pull the Leon and guy aside, like, where'd you learn to fight like that? Well, uh, my, my pa taught me what he could about fighting, and I guess the rest I just learned working. Your father must have been a great warrior. Paddle on with pride. Uh, uh, he was a drunken asshole, but he taught me well enough to survive. See that, guys? We call that communally establishing a backstory. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I just wanted to compliment him like, hot damn. Okay, uh, so I think we'll end it up ahead here. Okay, so, uh, incidentally, the javelins that, uh, were being thrown, uh, none of you, none of them are in a location to be kept unless Clonus really wants to go diving for, like, two hours to recover them. But they were actually made out of bone. Oh, candy. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. They're <laughs> giant sticks of beef jerky. Uh, so we will end it here when, you know, the water looked kind of rough earlier when, you know, tentacles were wrapping over the side of the ship and everything. But as you look on ahead at the horizon where your destination is, the water doesn't look any calmer. Uh, and as you guys proceed into the eddies... The ship is thrown from here to there like a nutshell in a torrent. And that's where we'll leave you splashing about. Oh no, uh, I don't have swimming proficiency. I can't swim. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I have a swim speed starting at 6th level. Hot damn. <laughs> thanks, to the, thanks to the storm aura stuff. I was, it's interesting okay. that you went Storm. I would have assumed something different. I'm, I'm not sure what, but like Storm was Well, the, I could have done the desert one, but it's like really boring. And... That one's cool, but it's like super situational. I thought about it for Kaja, but I was so, so sold on Wild Soul. So right on. Okay, good session, boys. Good session. Yeah, it was fun, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking had everything you need. I was about to say, well, no one died, but y you guys did die. Yeah, well, yeah, fucking... I died twice, kind of, almost. Sephiroth, Wonder Roth. Well, petrification is a condition. It's a... It's not a limitable I, condition, I always can... Exactly. I've been, um... I have been... What's the word for it? Traumatized by the original Baldur's Gate, where if, like... Your character, get, if one of your characters gets petrified, it not only counts as them dying, but it's like it removes them from your party so that they can't be resurrected. So the only way to go and get them back is to go leave the area, leave them behind, um, and find a stone flesh scroll, which is rare, kind of like you have to go to some of the temples and shit and hope that they have them go back over there probably fight the same enemies that petrified them in the first place because they respawned and then cast the thing on them now that's some drama yeah so i consider that a death but what else well i would say that it it doesn't uh damage your organs and stuff per se fair enough i'd say it more like it suspends life functions which sounds like death but i'd say it just uh he won't reason me mm -hmm. essentially yeah exactly you're not dead because you it is a condition from which you can recover fair, fair. Yeah, i mean technically uh, whatever you could you could you could make the case that you can recover from death in D quite easily as well well yeah uh that's a that's a discussion for another time though that was fun
I'm going to take these headphones off of my head and, well, I was going to leave, but then I'm kind of just watching Josh go ham. They're dancing, dude. dude they're fucking going. <laughs> All right, well. Nope, not that way. Sorry. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, no. 